Check, check. Checkity, check, check. Hey, team. Uh, welcome back. So today, I wanted to run through the original Legend of Zelda, all right? So last time, we did we did run a stream of this, but we didn't actually finish it. Uh, unfortunately, I was having some internet issues that day, and we just had to call it short. That stinks. What a bummer, right? Uh, so anyways, I think that we should just uh, fix that and do better this time. What do you guys think? I agree. So hey, let's uh, let's get into it. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to head off over to the right. And uh, so there's <laughs> whenever I was a kid, I uh, always uh, always called this. Uh, I didn't know that they were rupees because <laughs> I'm a goofy son of a gun, right? I was, I was a kid. OK, I was like four years old, um, but I called them crystals, I called them crystals. And uh, I knew if I came over here, I'd get the most crystals. Is that true? Uh, not really. <laughs> but uh, as a kid, I decided that this was always the way I was going to go. So uh, while you don't get the most rupees this way, you can actually get a, a fair few. And there's a couple secrets over here that we're going to pick up that'll help us right from the start. Just makes the game so much easier right off rip. Oh, Primal, how you feeling, buddy? Nice to see you again. Thanks for coming by. So somewhere in this game, there's a, there's an enemy that says... Uh, or it's an old man in a dungeon, not an enemy. And he says, uh, 10th enemy has the bomb. What exactly is he talking about? Uh, well, honestly, that cryptic message doesn't really tell you. But what he's saying is, whenever you're defeating enemies, there's a, uh, it's coded into the game that the 10th enemy is going to drop bombs. Now, that's not strictly, strictly true that a t the 10th enemy you fight and defeat will drop bombs, but uh, in a lot of cases, depending on the enemy that you defeat on the 10th de uh, defeat, I suppose, they may drop bombs. So anyways, we're going to abuse that to get some uh, bombs right there from those Octoroks. So check this out. Right there, right off rip. We've already got an extra heart piece. Uh, Eggs, hello, how are you feeling, my guy? Thanks for coming by. Uh, Primal, what's going on, my dude? How's everyone feeling today? Uh, just so you guys know, uh, I do have a, uh, a little bit of a storm uh, going on right now, so that's cool. Uh, so sorry if like my power goes out or something. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen, but you know, it's always a risk. Always a risk, I suppose. Uh, one of these days, I'll, uh, I'll have a battery backup system, and that'll help me out a lot, maybe. <laughs> maybe it'll help. Uh, knowing my luck, it won't make a difference, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I kind of want a battery backup system. More just because, personally, I would like to have one, I guess. Uh, but so, guys, how are, how's everyone doing tonight? Gosh, you guys got here really fast. Thanks for that, by the way. That's pretty cool. So, like I said, we're going to we're gonna take care of a few secrets today. Secrets? You like secrets? I like secrets. And uh, hopefully, we can uh, roll on through and have a nice stream without, uh, without any major drops. That'd be sweet. Uh, internet's not been so good to me lately, so hey, maybe today we'll just kill it. Uh, Primal, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, a lot better than yesterday. My goodness, yesterday I was so zonked out. I did not get much sleep at all. And, uh, gosh, I was not feeling so great. Uh, Keith, hello! Thanks for coming by, my guy. How you doing tonight? Uh, yeah, yesterday, oof, not good for Mayhem. He was, he was not, in a, not in a good way. Uh... But uh, today, today we feel a lot better. I meant to bomb the wall on the right, but I'm a dingus. There you go. This wall, we're gonna hit this one to uh, to get a few rupees. So this guy says it's a secret to everybody, and that's a very famous line in the world of Zelda, right? The universe that is Zelda. But it's also kind of a um, kind of a mistake, actually. Uh, by the way, here we go, another another heart piece. So right off, right off rip, before we even go to our first dungeon, we've already got five uh, heart containers. Nice, right? Uh, this five heart containers actually allows us to uh, go and get the first upgrade, the first sword upgrade, before we even take on the first dungeon. How nice is that? Oh gosh, Hitchhiker, yeah, it's been a little bit. How are you doing, my guy? Uh, nice to see you again. Gosh, sorry, buddy. Yeah, usually I uh, I start at about 8 o'clock my time, which is in, uh, you know, 22-ish minutes. Oh, I don't want to get hit by this guy. Oof. One one more shot and we'd be done from that dude. Uh, so I'm just going to run south and then back up, and that'll reset where he's at. Nice. 
Uh, oh, this, uh, this may not work out. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> I was thinking that's kind of dangerous. Okay, we should be fine. We should be fine now. Uh, boyfriend, hello! Uh, you were doing something? Hey, don't, don't, uh, don't stop what you're doing for me, you know? Uh, I'll be fine. I'll be fine, my guy, but thanks for coming by. It's always nice to see you, but, uh, don't, don't feel obligated or anything like that, silly. Uh, do whatever you guys gotta take care of. I'll be here. Keith, just okay? That doesn't sound super confident. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, hidden lady behind this waterfall, and if you if you want her to tell you some secrets about the game, uh, you can pay her money. And depending on how much money you pay her depends on what secret she tells you. She's actually got three facts that she'll tell you, and uh, depending on how much you pay her de uh, depends on what she tells you. In my opinion, uh, I don't need those secrets anymore. If I was on mission two, by the way, there is a second quest that is more difficult than the first. If I was doing that, I would need her help. <laughs> I would definitely need her help. Um, but uh, for, for mission one, I don't... I can't say that I have it all memorized, but uh, I feel like I, I know well enough to, to get my way around. So we'll be alright. We're gonna be okay, team. Oh, really? This is the original? You don't know the original one? This, this is the OG. This put Zelda on the map. The this is where it all this is where all the magic happened. <laughs> so, anyways, team, we got the uh, the upgraded the white sword. Uh, oh my gosh, you Octorok, what are you doing? <laughs> Making me chase you. So we got the uh, the white sword right away. We're already doing double damage relative to our normal damage, and uh, that is going to be very useful. Very useful. Uh, some enemies will just be a joke because we can just one-shot them now. Great, right? Uh, also, we're going to go and get, go ahead and get this map. And we're also going to pick up some money while we're here. So there's a, there's a little secret. The top right square on the little map. The little mini map up there. Um, there's no pathway to get to it. No, no visible pathway at least, right? But uh, if you are crazy like I am and check every single wall whenever you're a kid and have way too much time on your hands... You'll know that you can actually just walk right through this wall. And up here, this this guy's just chilling in his castle and says, Hey, it's a secret to everybody. Here's a hundred rupees. Enjoy. Right? So as I was saying earlier, that's actually a mistranslation. He's not telling you it's a secret from everybody. He's asking you to keep it a secret from everyone. Bro's offering Link a bribe. What? Link takes bribes. Who knew, right? So yeah, that guy says, keep this a secret from everyone. Don't tell all my buddies that I don't want to fight you. Uh, and uh, I'll just give you this money. We'll call it even, right? <laughs> you do have to be careful whenever you're uh, searching for these hidden rupees. Some of them won't actually give you money. Some of them, they'll tell you, hey, you broke down my door. Pay me money. Pay me money because you broke my door. Fix it. Fix it, you know, and they, they'll, they'll take some of your money. So you got to be careful. Not all of them are, are good. Some of them are, are quite bad. Well, at least if you're worried about money. Uh, very rarely is money a true problem in this game, I would say. Uh, if you want to buy the uh, the blue ring uh, to take half damage, which we will, by the way, uh, then uh, money can be tight, especially if you don't know where to, uh, where to pick up all the extra little rupees from. Uh, but yeah, we won't have to worry about that. Uh, by the time we get to the point where we need more money, uh, we'll have found plenty. So that won't be a big deal. See, easy peasy. Those guys should take two hits. Those guys should take three. Easy. Get Shrekt, guys. Get Shrekt. Uh, we need to go pick up the candle right quick, so we're gonna do that too. Uh, I haven't been paying really close attention while I've been playing, if I'm just being honest. Keep glancing over at chat and everything else. I, I know it's I know it's raining right now, so I'm really worried about my live stream dying on me. <laughs> I hope that it won't, but uh, always a possibility that it does, uh, even when it's not raining. Spectrum's amazing. But hey, we're going for it, right? So yeah, last time I was uh, last time I was playing through this, I was hoping I was hoping we'd make a ton of progress. I really wanted it, and uh, didn't quite make it. Didn't quite make it. Spectrum told me that I, I wasn't allowed to stream that day uh, on my channel. It's actually broken up into two individual streams because at one point it died for way too long, and I. Couldn't get uh, couldn't get the stream restarted because my internet was out. But uh, I, I'm I'm hoping <laughs> we shouldn't have to worry about this time. Shouldn't have to worry about that this time. Um, 
I think, I think we'll run through the entire game today. I don't think that there will be anything that'll stop us, aside from, you know, some internet issues. Uh, so boyfriend, tell me, you've never played this Zelda before? Have you lived under a rock? <laughs> I, I, I make jokes, but, uh... Uh, so we bring this map, we, and we... I don't know if it's a map, it's a scroll, I'm not really sure, but uh, you bring it here and use it, and this lady appears and opens up a shop. Those potions, the blue one restores your health, the red one will restore your health and turn into a blue potion, which will then restore your health again. Oh, Backroads Living! Hey, thanks for that, buddy, I appreciate that. Uh, how are you feeling tonight? What's going on, my dude? Uh, I guess you're, I guess you've played? Have you played this game? Uh, this is one of the earliest games I remember playing ever. This and Super Mario Bros. 3. I used to sit on my mom's lap when I was three years old, and uh, her and I would play Super Mario Bros. 3 mostly, but also this. Uh, this shop, it's its a hidden shop, but kind of one of the ones that's easy to find, and that's how you find the blue ring. Half damage. Now you just take half damage, and Link changes color. Link's not the only thing that changes color, by the way, but uh, it is kind of neat to know that, uh, yeah. Link is no longer green Link, now he's white Link. We got the white sword, we got white Link, let's go. I don't have a magic shield, I don't know why I tried to face tank that. Tried to block that uh, that shot right quick. Didn't work out, you know? Okay, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna run on to uh, the first dungeon right quick. We got, uh, we got some stuff to take care of. And uh, we got a, a goofy dragon to fight, so let's go take him out. Dad's in the hospital. Oh, that's a bummer, man. Uh, it was his favorite, though. Hey, that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, I can see why. This game is... For its time, at least, it was absolutely amazing. Not necessarily so groundbreaking as most people think. Uh, this game was one of the first to make this style of game successful. Truly, truly successful. Although, a game called Hydlide kind of did it first, but Hydlide did it very poorly. <laughs> oh, that game is so bad. That game is so bad. Oof. Uh, anyways, yeah, this one did it right. Uh, and I'm very happy for that. Check this out, Backroads. I got a little secret for you. If you're interested, there is a... The moment you walk in this first dungeon, there's a locked door. But that door's not as locked as you may think. If you, uh, if you come in here... Oh, look! There's a locked door right there, right? But also, we're just gonna leave and come right back. Oof. Oof. Door's not locked anymore, right? <laughs> Where did it go? I don't know. Neat. That's just one of those weird, goofy things about this game. There's so many bizarre secrets that just don't necessarily make a lot of sense, right? It's one of those old coding things. Hang on, team. I'm gonna actually put a small delay on my camera real quick. So yeah, if you leave and come right back, um, those, uh, those, th that door will be opened and there's, uh, there's no more use for a key there. Nice, right? Uh, now I need to put a delay on my microphone. <laughs> I hope it doesn't seem too bizarre while I do that. Nice. Okay. Trying to do, trying to do multiple things at once. Let's go! There we go. Got it, team. Nailed it. First try. Perfect. Uh, yeah, soundtrack? Super great. I actually was watching a, a YouTube video on this recently, and uh, this soundtrack, this piece of music right here, was actually a uh, a remix, sort of, of uh, another band's music. I didn't know that. I thought it was originally composed, but mm, not quite. Not quite. Uh, of course, uh, there's several things that I already did know in that video, uh, but... I did learn something new. That's kind of crazy. I don't, uh, there's very few Zelda videos where I learned something new that I didn't already know about this game, either through my own discovery or uh, just learning it from someone else already, you know? So that's kind of cool. I can dig it. I can dig it. Like, the, the maps. All of the maps were made together to fit into a grid. Uh, that was to save space on the NES cartridge. But the fun fact is, the dungeons were supposed to be twice as big as they are. Uh, but they only used half the space when making the dungeons. Uh, so they just went back and took that extra space and made a second quest out of it. How cool is that? How cool is that? Super cool. Yeah, yeah, the eagle, right? Uh, I, I do know some of the names of the dungeons. I don't remember all of them, though. Not off the top of my head, at least. 
Uh, the eagle, what is there? The, the, the dragon is, uh, what is that? Dungeon 8, I think. Um, uh, Dungeon 9 is just called Death Mountain, I believe. But, uh, uh, Dungeon 2, the snake? Is that right? Oh, yeah, it's been a little while. It's been a little while. Uh, Backroads, you know everything about this game? I, I don't know everything, just to be fair. I know there's some speedrunner tricks. I don't know how to do them, but I know of them. Uh, I do know of a fair few glitches. My uh, copy of the game is one of the uh, later versions, so some of the glitches that I know of just doesn't work on this one. Uh, in case you're wondering, though, I am playing on uh, on original hardware. I'm playing on my actual NES. Uh, I guess that's kind of cool. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. But that's why I talk about the versions. Technically, I could have an older version. I just don't. Not in this case, right? Ah, uh, let's see. The the like likes. These guys used to terrify me as a kid, right? Oof. Oof. Oh, the 250 Master. Helldivers? I've actually never played Helldivers. I have considered buying it, but uh, I haven't uh, haven't done it yet. Your dad was a Zelda man. That's fair, buddy. That's fair. Nice. <laughs> I like to stack all those guys up and uh, dumpster them. Soldier, thanks for coming by, my guy. How are you feeling? Uh, this dragon, super easy if you've got the white sword and full health. Just oof, dumpstered him. Dumpstered him. Reese! Hello! Yeah, I've got a, I've actually got a lot of NES games that I would love to play on stream, but uh, some of them, I worry that no one would know. <laughs> no one would know. I did want to do uh, the original Dragon Quest, although I did think about doing the Game Boy Color version of that. It's uh, got a few quality of life improvements. There's some glitches that don't work on it, and uh, I, I don't know. I do think it's a... It's easier, but only in the sense that you don't have to grind as much. For the most part, uh, I don't think the original is actually that difficult as long as you take the time to level grind, you know? Anyways, I thought about doing the original Dragon Quest. You know, uh, Akira Toriyama, rest in peace, my guy. What a champion, what an absolute legend of our time. I, I hope, uh, you know, I always hope to uh, do something that will uh, commemorate him. Because Dragon Ball Z, that was my childhood. <laughs> That was my childhood, right? <laughs> oh, man, I love that. Oh, Reese, Super Punch-Out? We crushed it, buddy. We straight crushed it. And then after uh, Super Punch-Out, we went to uh, Contra 3. Uh, Contra 3. And uh, that was a good time. I had a lot of fun with that. Oh, we're going to pick up the candle right quick, uh, team. Monsters respawn after you go into a dungeon. So, Backroads, a fun fact about that. If you... Uh, if you defeat all of the enemies on a on a screen like these guys, if I defeat them all and then I go do a dungeon, they'll come back. If I defeat all but one of them, however, they will not come back. It'll just be the one enemy left over. Interesting, right? I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so we could go get some more money, but... Uh, yeah, let's go get some money. We're gonna, we're gonna get some money right quick, and then we're gonna pick up the bow. Uh, and whenever I selected the map there, what I really meant to do was the candle. <laughs> Jack, what's going on, my guy? So yeah, see, these three enemies, if I defeat that blue guy right there and leave the red Octorok, there will only ever be the red Octorok right there. Uh, same with these guys. If I just defeat these guys and uh, leave that last dude, that'll be the only guy that ever appears here. Uh, I, I don't know why that is. I don't really know why that is. But let me show you guys some uh, some hidden money. I like money, right? Let's get it. There's a uh, bush you can burn right over here. And there's also some lag you can have. You know, you like like old school NES lag? <laughs> Too many sprites on screen. You need to calm down. Steven, what's going on, buddy? Nice to see you again. No idea of the names. Just hate the spiders. Okay. Uh, you'll have to tell me which spider. Which spider? And I may know the name. I don't know the names of all of them, but this bush right here, this guy, is loaded, and he pays you a ton of money uh, to not fight him, I guess. I don't even know. Uh, he pays you money to keep it a secret. <laughs> keep this a secret from everyone, okay? Do not slander me. But look, one enemy right there, even though we went in... It's not a dungeon, but we went off the world map and came back, right? And that, that one right there, one enemy. Nice, right? I, uh, I technically do want the enemies to respawn, though, uh, just because, uh, I don't know, we can pick up some hearts, we can pick up a little extra money, never hurts, right? 
Let's see. Uh, you want to get a poster of this game? You saw one with the entire map? That would be cool. I, I do like the 8-bit style of the map. I think it's uh, a definition of 8-bit retro, you know? It's, it's definitely really cool. I I'm a big fan. Uh, back when the game came out, it was rumors of a secret area. Oh, yeah, gosh. So, Reese... I'm not kidding, and I'm not exaggerating. I went through and I burned every bush that you can reach with the candle. Every bush. Uh, I bombed every flat wall. I learned pretty quickly, or I figured out pretty quickly that uh, the walls that are angled, th they will never have a door, you know, a trap door on them. But uh, I did burn every bush. Every single bush. <laughs> I found all the traps. I found all the money. I found all the guys that charged me money. Um, it took a long time. But uh, some things that I found out just by accident. The uh, the uh, the Lost Woods, for instance. Oof. I, as a kid, I had no idea how you were supposed to figure that out. I just got lucky. And then I, whenever I went back, I made sure to do the exact same thing. Uh, I just went left, up, down, up, left, up, down, up, left, up, down, up. And eventually I got it, right? Uh, but I don't know, I do know now how you were supposed to figure that out. But as a kid, I never did know. Um, there's, you know, those old ladies and old men that say, hey, pay me and, uh, I'll talk, I'll tell you stuff, right? Well, I didn't know it at the time, but those guys hold the secrets. They tell you how to advance through certain parts of the game. Usually it's, you know, kind of cryptic and they don't give you the exact answer, but, uh, yeah, pay me and I'll talk. What they really mean is, I need- I have secrets that you need if you don't already know. Uh, and give me some money, and maybe I'll give you some of those, right? Uh, Backroads, I- I- I would say that I kind of grew up in the Super NES era, but my family didn't have one of those until much later, so, uh, I did, uh, quite a lot in the, uh, NES era as well. And, uh, yeah, gosh, man, I, uh, feel very fortunate to have grown up in that time. Uh, no bomb wall there. Oof. The old games weren't always meant for you to... Yeah. No, no, they were... They didn't hold your hand so easily. You want to know what kind of checkpoint you get when you die in this game? None. <laughs> no checkpoints. Get good, scrub. <laughs> yeah. Oof, they were... They were... Not forgiving. I don't think there's a wall down here. Yeah, I didn't think so. I know you, I know we can go up, but I didn't think there was anything in that corner. Uh, grew up during the Wii era. Nice. I, yeah, Super NES era, but uh, a little bit. A little bit of the NES and Sega Genesis as well. Oh, Chris, welcome. Thanks for coming by, my guy. Also, Zella, nice to see you. Always, always, my dude. Uh, I, how are you doing? How are you doing, my guy? I saw that you were, uh, you were streaming. I actually didn't see what you were streaming. I was, I've been so tied up. I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Ah, I was absolutely swamped at work today. Oof. It was a, it was a rough time for me, but uh, made it through. Got it done. I had to go to uh, a dentist appointment. It's not, not a dentist. It's an oral surgeon. I had that surgery done on my jaw, and uh, I had to go. They had to inspect it to make sure that it was healing up properly. Uh, good news. Your boy Mayhem's healing up. Everything's fine. I didn't think that there would be any issues. Unfortunately, there's not. DS. Nice. Dodongo dislikes smoke. What that guy meant to say was, Dodongo dislikes when bombs explode in his stomach. <laughs> yeah, gosh. Uh, back rows, I sure am struggle blessing. But hey, to be fair, everything is harder when you're trying to stream it. Doesn't matter what it is. It's harder when you're trying to stream it. Just facts. Straight facts, right? Now, Reese, the... Uh, the DS was one of my favorite consoles. The Game Boy Advance SP, mm, amazing, loved it. Uh, the DS, also kind of my jam. I played that thing a ton. Yeah, gosh, I, you know, I glance over at chat and I just walk right into an enemy. <laughs> it happens. Uh, it happens a bunch. But uh, one thing I do notice is, uh, you know, sometimes I, I I watch some other streamers on occasion and I'll see them do this and they're just. Hang on, I have to pause. Read chat. You know, I, I don't want to do that. I try to keep the uh, try to keep the action flowing on both fronts. I want to be able to chat and uh, react to uh, whatever's going on in game, both at the same time. And I don't know that I'm perfect at it. I try. Don't always hit the mark. Sometimes we do okay. 
already, team, check that out. Two, two, uh, uh, pieces of the Triforce, which doesn't even make any sense later. There's only three of them, right? Uh, oh, well, whatever. If it was their first go, right? Zella. The N64, in my opinion, one of the best consoles ever. Uh, not necessarily the best console ever, and I think the PlayStation was better. I said it. I think the PlayStation was better. I liked the PlayStation more, but only because at the time, I really liked RPGs. And uh, the N64 had a grand total of four. The entire life cycle of the console had four RPGs, you for real? Meanwhile, the PlayStation had Final Fantasy 7, 8, Nine, many other Legend of Dragoons, so many bangers, right? <laughs> a crazy craziness. But the N64 did have Paper Mario, which oh my gosh, team! I don't know if you guys have ever played Paper Mario, but mwah, what a great game! Paper Mario and the second one, the Thousand Year Door, amazing. Woof, so good. Uh, I'm gonna run over here to the right, and we're gonna pick up some arrows right quick. By the way, uh. Out of a 10, what's my... The Wii U? <sighs> the Wii U was a mismarketed mess. That's my opinion on that. Uh, uh, yeah, it was... It had great potential. But uh, just wasn't quite there. Wasn't quite there. Reese, I want to play through... Uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I'm, I'm debating on waiting for the, the remaster. You know, they're remastering it for Switch. Or doing the GameCube version. I have the GameCube version, and honestly, it kind of feels bad to buy a game twice, you know? I already own the game, but uh, I have to buy it again if I want the new shiny. Uh, maybe maybe we do that, maybe we don't. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's buy something, will you? Yeah, I'll take these arrows. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I did hear about the remake. Quest 64! Okay, Zella. So... People have a very strong opinion on Quest 64. It's either amazing or absolute dumpster fire. And in my opinion, it's okay. It's okay. It seems like a uh, rushed, non-finished game. Like, a you know, they didn't quite finish the product, but decided to release it. And uh, part of the reason I say that, in some developer notes, they said that there were supposed to be three playable characters. But we only ever got two. I mean, we only ever got one. Uh, although the other two... Uh, there are two in the game, but you only ever play as one. Uh, oh, nice. Two fairies. I said that totally wrong. What I meant to say was, there's only one playable character. But the second one, another character that was intended to be played, uh, was put in the game. It's just non-interactable. You can go up and talk to him and that's about it, you know? I, I, I totally butchered that explanation. But anyways, there you go. Yeah, but uh, I would love to play the remake of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We could go through Quest 64 sometime if you guys hate me. <laughs> if you guys don't like me, we can do that. I'm kidding. I would have a, I would have a good time. Kylo! Hello, welcome. Thanks for coming by again, my dude. Nice to see you. I, I'm feeling great. Uh, there's It's raining outside, which makes me a little bit nervous. Ah, uh, my internet's so touchy, so touchy. Uh, Aisha, we just started not too long ago. It hasn't, we haven't been playing for that long. So, uh, yeah, you're welcome. Welcome to join us. Uh, we just got beat the second dungeon, but uh, I know this game reasonably well. Not everything memorized. The first three dungeons I have pretty well down in my head, but uh, after that, we'll have to start looking around a tiny bit. Spectrum, for reals. For real, soldier. Yeah. Oof, I don't know. Spectrum leaves much to be desired. One thing that I find interesting about this game, which is surprisingly not unique to this game, right? Um, the keys are shared among dungeons. And you may be thinking, what? No, no, no. This is the only Zelda that does that. But it's not. Zelda 2 on the NES does the very same thing. It does the same thing. It shares dungeon keys. You can grab a key from one dungeon and take it to another. Oh, QSMB, hello! Uh, Nick! Hey, buddy! Well, thanks for that. Appreciate appreciate that, my guy. Uh, do you prefer to go by Nick? Is that is that cool? I'll try I'll try my best to remember that. Well, thanks, Nick. Tell your friends I said thanks for the recommendation. That's really cool of them. 
Yeah, how about that, soldier? Your boy's got some knowledge. Some some hidden knowledge and glitches. Ah, uh, these uh these dark nuts, they don't like bombs, by the way. So if you uh if you're having trouble with them, come back with some bombs and Oh, snap, I got glitched onto the uh the wall there. You guys see that? <laughs> Oof. I hate these dark nuts. <laughs> I hate these dark nuts. They're the bane of my existence. Alright, alright, you goofy thing. It's business. It's business time. About to get the business end of Link's sword here. Blam! Wow, now it gives me the clock. How rude. How rude. Oh, well, thanks, Nick. I appreciate that, buddy. We're just gonna run up here, grab this key. Oh, those bubbles. I hate those bubbles. But I have a trick for you guys later. We'll talk about it. Ah, uh, Hitchhiker. Banjo-Kazooie. So, uh, I'm not sure if you guys are into gaming YouTubers or anything like that. Back whenever uh, John Tron and Pro Jared were, you know, at their peak, um... I went to a, uh, this was back in 2014 or 2015, I don't remember exactly, I think it was 2015. Uh, no, it had to have been 2014, yeah. I went to a, a convention and uh, bought a copy of Banjo-Kazooie from Pro Jared in person and he signed it and I thought, that's really cool! I was a big nerd at the time, you know? I <laughs> still am. Big shocker, right? Uh, Dark Nuts? <laughs> I said it, come at me. One thing that's nice about these early dungeons, there's so many opportunities for you to save keys and just move on without using them. Now, that's not everywhere. You will have to use some keys, but you don't have to use very many. Nice, right? So, check this out. We're going to use this key right here. Bippity boop. Here we are in this room, right? And then we go south, right? No! No, we don't do that. We, uh... We grab that rupee because we're poor, and then we bomb this wall right here. Bam! Straight into the boss room. Free keys, let's go! Who needs to use that key, right? That one's not a good one. That one's, uh, not a good one. Walk into that, thanks, guy. <laughs> yeah, nailed it! Uh, Kylo, being called a nerd is not so nice a way to be called smart. Yeah, uh, I disagree, okay? I don't think nerd means quite what it used to be. I think it's become a much cooler turn of phrase in the past decade, honestly. Uh, you know, back whenever I was in high school, oh, I aged myself right quick, um, nerd was a derogatory term, and no one liked being called that. Uh, but nowadays, nerds are cool. <laughs> At least I think so. Oh, Chris, by the way, I, I totally missed your comment. Sorry, my guy. The 360. I've played so much Xbox 360. One of the best consoles ever to me. Um, probably best consoles ever, in my opinion. I My Super NES still gets the most playtime out of all my consoles put together. The, the SNES just eats it. So much. So much playtime. After that, it's probably my PlayStation. My PlayStation 2, to be specific. Loved. Loved that console. Had so many good games. Uh, so much cool games. Um... You can, uh, you, you can defeat these, uh, these bats, by the way, with the boomerang. If you didn't know, now you know. Uh, good way to, uh, defeat them with a range weapon, if you're tired of chasing them down, right? Uh, how's the guy? Hello! Hey, team! What's going on? I love that! I love that so much! Uh, so, I don't know of any other YouTuber slash anybody that says, Hey, team, you know, like I do. Uh, am I super unique and original? I, I don't know, I don't really think so. I always hope that, uh, while my content might not be always super original or unique, I hope that my personality is. That's what I go for. But anyways, uh, yeah, Xbox 360 probably got the most playtime outside of my, uh, PS2 and Super Nintendo, if I'm just being honest. Uh, what all consoles do I have? I've got an NES, I've got a Sega Genesis, uh, Super Nintendo, uh, a PlayStation 2, which I use to play my PS1 games as well. N64, uh, I got a Sega Dreamcast, uh, GameCube, I don't have an original Xbox. I have an Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, uh, 4 and 5. I have a Wii U and a normal Wii. Uh, did I say Dreamcast already? Uh... Hmm... I think that's it. Aside from handhelds, I got my Game Boy Color, my, my Advance SP, my 3DS, I, uh, I got rid of my original Game Boy Advance, and my uh, DS Lite, which was a mistake! The DS Lite was so, so amazing! 
Uh, I wish. I wish I still had it. Ah, uh, very badly, by the way. Ah, uh, no, Chris, we're playing on the OG hardware, my dude. Uh, I'm playing on my actual NES. Uh, can prove it, but I might break the game if I prove it. <laughs> no, I don't, uh, I know a lot of, a lot of people emulate their games or, uh, play on, a, you know, the Wii Virtual Console or the, the Switch Virtual Console and such, but, uh, I, I don't. Uh, Mama Mayhem has a, uh, has an Atari. I don't, but I know she wants to give it to me, so maybe I can claim it. <laughs> uh, yeah, never, never really played an Atari very much. Uh, I would, I guess, but, uh... That one was a little bit before my time. That one was just a little bit before my time. Uh, little secret in here. Uh, it's actually, you gotta defeat the enemies and you can push this block right here. Nice. Chris, I was very lucky. One, my, uh, my mom, uh, gave me all of her consoles. Technically, this NES that I'm playing on was her console. Mom, this is the same NES that you played, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 with. With me, you know? Whenever I was little. Crazy, right? Crazy. It still works great. I've taken good care of it. And, uh, hey, look, now we're crushing it. Crushing this game. With, uh, a 30-plus-year-old console. <laughs> nutty. Nutty. Absolutely nutty. About the only thing I want to uh, change out is the uh, the pin connector. It's uh, it, it could use a new one. <laughs> it still works, obviously, but a new pin uh, connector would be kind of great. Uh, all right, team, let's go north. Check this out. Uh, I one thing I, I have a PSP somewhere, but uh, I only have one game for it, and uh, it was uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. And I do have a cable that would allow me to capture from it. One thing I've always loved is uh, I wanted to be able to capture any game that I had. And uh, slowly but surely, I picked up what I needed to be able to do that. Uh, oh, hey, run into this. Over here. Last one. Nailed it. <laughs> Not even close, team. That was calculated. Straight calculated. Walk into the waterfall. So this guy right here, he... I showed off earlier that there was a lady behind the waterfall that would, you know, you could pay her money and she would give you secrets about the game. That guy tips you off to do that. Uh, otherwise, you might not ever walk into a waterfall unless you're, less, unless you're like me and think that all waterfalls look suspicious. Because I think all waterfalls look suspicious. They all have some hidden secret, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oof. Let me just walk into a wall in my own fire trap right quick. Uh, and we're going this way. Why not? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of NES games that I, I want to stream still. There's a lot of, uh, Sega Genesis games. So, uh, I have, uh, Jurassic Park for the Sega Genesis. I want to stream that game. That game's sweet. Uh, ARMY, hello, what's going on, my guy? Thanks for coming by. Always nice to see you, and I, I appreciate you saying hello. Really, really cool of you. Uh, so, what brings you by today? Uh, did, were you just uh, scrolling shorts and find me, or were you looking specifically for some uh, some Zelda content? As you can see, Zelda just slayed the dragon, uh, and now we're headed to Narnia. The, oh, sorry, the Jabberwocky. We slayed the Jabberwocky. <laughs> Commodore 64, that's pretty cool. I've actually never played one of those either. I have played an Atari, but I've never owned one. Uh, never played a Commodore 64, though. Uh, oof. That's one of those old pieces of gaming history that I would love just to crack at. Just just, just once. I, I don't need to own one or have a ton of games for it, but I'd love to love to see it. Uh, by the way, team, thanks everyone for joining. I hope you're all having a good time. If you are having a good time and want to show me that this is the kind of content that you like, uh, maybe consider hitting that like button. I would definitely appreciate that. Oh, hey, uh, Matcha. Do you want me to call you Matcha or Neko? Uh, thanks for that. That's really that's a really sweet compliment. I uh, appreciate that. Uh, I don't have Bi Binding of Isaac. I, I would consider it, but uh, not that it's not my type of game. I've just never owned it. Is of all the games that I've ever decided to buy, I don't know. I I, I like watching Binding of Isaac on occasion, but uh, I've never played it myself. Oh, ASMR. Hello. Nice to see you again. Thanks for coming back by. Okay, so there's a couple of uh, hidden heart. They're not hidden, really. One of them's kind of hidden, but uh, not really. If once you realize how the raft works, you'll kind of just know it's there. Uh, but we're going to go pick up these two heart pieces right quick. Uh, oh, Eth uh, Ethan, is that right? Am I saying that right? Uh, please forgive me if I'm not. Is this game on the old Nintendo? Bro. 
<laughs> this game is on the old Nintendo. Here we are playing on an old NES. Sweet, right? Oh, yeah, ASMR. Hey, you know, if, you, uh, if you're if you hoping to just find me on the regular, you can always hit the subscribe button. That'll do the trick. <laughs> subscribe button's lonely, by the way. <laughs> it enjoys like, a little poke here and there. Uh, sorry, guys. I can be awfully nerdy and uh, cringy. I hope that you'll forgive me. All right, so that's one of those pieces of heart. Fun fact, by the way, you don't need the stepladder to pick up that piece of heart. I wish I hadn't grabbed it now so I could have showed that off. You can actually grab it with the whistle. Crazy, right? How crazy is that? You can grab it with the the whistle. If you stand, you know, the whistle brings the tornado by that picks you up and it always goes horizontal. If, uh, if you want to pick up that heart piece, you can just stand horizontally in line with it and uh, blow the whistle and the tornado will carry you across it and you'll pick it up that way. Kind of cool. Um, in the uh, original version, which I don't have version, you know, one. I've got version 1.2, I think. Uh, you could actually pick it up that way and keep picking it up. <laughs> yeah, the game gave it to you but didn't register that you grabbed it and you could just keep grabbing it over and over again. Kind of cool. Uh, kind of cool. I, I wish I had an original version so I could do that. You want to play this game all the time when you're five or six? Yeah, gosh, uh, Ethan, I I did. I do agree with you. I did agree with you? Nah, I do agree with you 100%, my guy. Yeah, loved this game. Loved it so much. I just wanted to play it all the time. This one and Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, Majestic! Hi, gamer! Uh, stream is going pretty decently. I've been having a good time. I, I hope that you're also having a good time. Thanks for coming by, and I appreciate you saying hello. Cringe is never forgivable. Well, hopefully acceptable then, Chris. Uh, Leon, you got banned from a stream. Well, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. That would get you banned here, too. <laughs> that would definitely get you banned. Um, oof. Oof. Yeah. No, no, not good. Not good. Uh, if I enjoy roguelikes. I do enjoy some roguelikes. Um, ooh, these guys. I'm glad I bought the, uh, the arrow. So, fun fact. In the original game... The original uh, uh, Japanese Famicom, the controllers were a little bit different than what we got in America. You could actually use a microphone on the controllers. Kind of nuts to think that they had microphones on the controllers uh, on the original NES uh, Famicom, right? Not NES. Anyways, uh, those those bunny rabbit looking things, you could just defeat all of them on screen on by scream. You didn't have to scream, but if you talked loudly into the microphone on the second controller, uh, it would defeat those bunny rabbits. How about that? That's kind of nuts, right? Kind of nutty. Kind of cool, though. I don't know if I need to go to the right. Is this a waste of a key? Maybe. But I don't care. Let's check, let's check it out. Dig Dogger! Hates certain kinds of sound? Okay, so he's kind of teaching you how to defeat a boss there. But, yeah, waste of a key there. Bummer. That'll be alright. Honestly, keys are kind of, uh, kind of unnecessary at a, a certain point. We could go right now and get the uh, the magical key, and uh, then we wouldn't need these uh, normal keys anymore. Uh, so I'm not worried about wasting one or two. We'll never have to buy one. We could just go pick up the uh, the master key or magical key, whatever it's called. I forget. It's been a little bit, you know. <laughs> oh, Razan, hello, um, and Ricardo. Uh, hey, thanks for coming by, guys. Uh, I'm sorry if I miss uh, miss some chat. I'll, I'm trying my best. Uh, if I miss something and you want to make sure that I see it, uh, you're more than welcome to, uh, to just, uh, put it in chat again and hopefully I'll see it the second time. Uh, sorry. Sorry, by the way, if I miss something. I'll try my best. I promise to do that. Uh, you, you, you have one of those? The, the Famicom? That's kind of sweet. Uh, yes, Ricardo, this is the, uh, the NES. I'm, I'm actually playing on the, uh, the original console. Uh, not that that's like a flex or anything, but it is... It is kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. It's one of those things that's neat, but also kind of a pain sometimes. You guys wouldn't believe how many times I put the the, the cartridge in, you know, and pushed it down, hit power, and then I push and hold the reset button while I jiggle it around some, trying to get it to work. And then I got to test it to make sure it doesn't crash the moment I go into game, you know? <laughs> one thing about these dark nuts that's kind of cool is you can stand on the water with the stepladder to defeat them a little bit more easily, and they can't damage you, but you can also still damage them. Kind of neat. I, not really that great of not that not that great of a secret, I guess. But one of those things that's just kind of cool. Uh, not not maybe not an exploit, but something you can take advantage of. There you go. 
There you go. Sounds like an N64, Nancy. I do have an N64. Uh, we actually played through uh, Ocarina of Time not too long ago. By the way, team, I would like to do that again, but I would like to play uh, Master Quest. I was thinking we could do that uh, on my 3DS. We could play uh, Ocarina of Time, the, the 3DS version, and uh, play through Master Quest. That sounds like fun. I, I would think that would be a good time. The dungeons are all supposed to be uh, remade to be harder. Uh, favorite game ever? Oh, probably Chrono Trigger. If I had to, if I had to wager a guess, or just off the top of my head, every time someone asks me that, I have to think Chrono Trigger. I freaking love that game. It's so good. It's just so good. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I loved it. I played it so much. Played it so much. You have the NES. Oh, I don't actually have Kirby for the NES. That would be kind of cool. I would love that. Uh, Razan, thanks, thanks for that, buddy. I, I appreciate that. That was a, uh, that's nice of you to say. I'm, I'm glad that you're enjoying the stream. That's that's what what's water? Did I miss something? <laughs> oh, in that room? Yeah, supposedly little lake in the uh, in the dungeon. Why not? Ah, uh, are these dungeons procedurally generated? Oh, these these are definitely pre-made. Uh, somebody, definitely pre-made. The uh, did I pick up the whistle? I don't think I even picked up the whistle yet. I, I gotta go get the whistle. Hang on, <laughs> we're gonna go grab the whistle. So I'm playing the sixty-four. Majora's Mask. So, Nancy, I actually have not played through Majora's Mask, but I do have it, and we are going to play through it. So right now, on Mondays and Tuesdays, we're playing through Hollow Knight. Once I finish that game, we're moving on to Majora's Mask, and we're going to play that for the first time. It's not my first time playing it. Technically, I've played into it far enough to beat the first dungeon, so I kind of know what I'm doing to that point. But beyond that, I don't, I don't really remember any of it. Or I just haven't seen it at all beyond that. Uh... I'm in uh, Baru. Baru. I'm sorry if I if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, I know you're a gamer, but you prefer Japanese studio that makes games like Nintendo's. Uh, uh so I don't know. I, not, some Western companies have made some great games, it, and it's I don't want to discount some of those. Uh, for the most part, man, I love me a JRPG. I, I do love me a JRPG. Vapor. Hi, my guy. Thanks for coming by. It's nice to see you again. I know a guy <laughs> just like you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yes, I love Hollow Knight. It's been so much fun. My goodness, that game's amazing. 10 out of 10. Straight 10 out of 10. Uh, we beat it and got the worst ending. Uh, and uh, I kind of... I knew I would get the worst ending. Chat told me I would. But uh, just kind of wanted to uh, beat it and then go for the better endings. I don't know about getting all of the endings, but... Maybe we'll get all the endings. Sounds like fun to me. Ooh, I, did, I defeated these guys and then I went right instead of left. I don't know if that was wise or not. Oof! That guy ate my bomb! That's fine, that's fine. We got... Perfect. Nailed it. Easy peasy. No, uh, I mean, your question is, do you prefer Japanese games or American games? <sighs> like I said... I don't really know if I prefer one over the other. I think both have merits. And, uh, are you talking about in terms of language? Uh, because definitely English in that case. I don't, uh, uh, I speak a little bit of Japanese. But whenever I say little, I do mean very little. Very little. Uh, uh, ni choto nihongo hanashimasuka. Very little. Very little. Just enough. That if someone doesn't know any Japanese at all, I can impress them. <laughs> oh, uh, Colin, hello. Nice to see you again, my guy. Why didn't I come and get this first? Something's wrong with my brain. I don't even know. I don't even know. These uh, these blue dark nuts are an absolute pain. Absolute pain. Speaking of pain. <laughs> oh, no. I walked into the other room and it happens. I'm sorry. I'm not perfect. Are you perfect? Because I'm not. <laughs> But speaking of perfect, this game, uh, I, I don't think I would call this a game a 10 out of 10, because it does have some flaws, but gosh, man, for its time, it was just so good. Crazy good. Uh, I loved every minute of figuring this out. I, I literally went and bombed every flat wall. I burned literally every bush that you can reach with the candle. Dark, dark nut? <laughs> Driving me nuts there. Uh, yeah, every, every wall, every bush, and I had a great time doing it. Always had a great time. Sitting by the fire? Hey, nice, man. Uh, 
Oh, well, thanks, Ethan. I, I don't know how I impressed you, but uh, thanks. I I'm glad I was able to do that. Uh, if, if you're impressed, hit the like button, right? <laughs> I I'm supposed to say that. You know, it's supposed to be good for my stream. <laughs> but thanks, man. I, I, do I appreciate that a lot. Oh, gotcha. The Japanese. Yeah. Uh, so if I'm not mistaken, Nihongo means Japanese. Hanashimasuka means I, s I spoke. Technically, it's past tense. Uh, I, sp I said I, I spoke very little Japanese. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> Uh, what I am is a big nerd that on occasion watched uh, a bunch of uh, uh, anime and decided, you know, I started to correlate the uh, the subtitles with some uh, some words, and eventually, you know, you pick up on a few easy words, you know, choto, daijobu, uh, you know, just some simple words like that, and uh, then eventually, there was a time where I was driving to work. I was had I had to commute and it was a long drive it was a 40 minute drive one way and uh 45 minutes and so I put some uh I'd put some uh audio lessons on my phone and I would just listen to those on my way to and from work and that that helped a bunch well uh thanks uh, I do appreciate that uh you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about it my show's free my show's free you're more than welcome to watch anytime you like you don't have to pay money uh if you if you wanted to consider a donation, that's cool, man. But don't sweat it if you if you can't or whatever, you know, no big deal. Oh no. Oh no. What do we do? Are we stuck? <laughs> uh let's see. How long am I streaming? Hmm. I don't know. Uh I, I kinda wanted to stream until we beat the game. Alright, team. Tell me the secret. How do I get out of this room? Cause, uh, that wall? Yeah. <laughs> you, oh, you were running and fell on wood? That's such a bummer. I'm sorry, man. Uh, I don't, I don't like getting burnt at all. I actually have a, uh, a scar on my, uh, my right arm right here. You can't really see it now. It's, it's decades old at this point and uh, it's, it's well faded. But, uh, yeah, I burnt my arm pretty good once and, uh, yeah, I don't like, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, not at all. Uh, do you think Nintendo got too far? Uh, that scared me. That scared me. The uh, the Yuzu, uh, yeah, that that whole thing. Oh yeah, that that made me big nervous because I like emulators. I, I don't use them a whole bunch. Never while I'm streaming. I'm not maybe never is not quite the right right word, but I can't think of a single live stream I've done where I was using an emulator. Uh, but anyways, yeah, no emulators are great. Uh, good for preservation, good for good for a lot of things. Also bad for a lot of things, so do I understand what Nintendo's getting at? Sure. Do I necessarily agree with them? Not really. But, uh, yeah, I, I hope, uh, I do hope that you heal up fast, soldier. That's no good, buddy. Uh, DJ, I've never played any of the Persona games, and I realize that makes me a freak of nature, but, uh, I don't know, just never got the chance to. Just never got the chance to. Uh, a lot of the, uh, those games were really popular, uh, back when I didn't have any money <laughs> and games aren't cheap uh, so I, I don't know never never quite never quite got that but uh, I would I would uh, I would probably play persona if I if I had it that'd be that'd be fun this guy this is dig dogger and he hates certain sounds and what that means is he doesn't like when you play the whistle he doesn't like the whistle is it a whistle or a flute <laughs> All right, whatever. Dig Dogger's done. Let's go. Watching live streams on your phone eats your battery. I, I believe it, Aisha. It's from the uh, the constant having to download from the internet. I would assume. Or uh, hey, ASMR. Thanks for that. I appreciate that. All right, uh, Colin. We'll see you in a little bit, my dude. Hell Divers Two. I haven't played it. I haven't played Hell Divers Two. But let me show let me show you guys a secret. So we're gonna play the 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 whistle here, right? And. Uh, Look, it takes us over to uh, Dungeon 5, right? This will take you to any dungeon that you've beat before. So we're gonna play it again, and uh, it should take us to Dungeon 1. No, no, wait. Oh, gosh, I forgot. If you have the uh, if you have the invincibility, it won't pick you up. Crazy. This is gonna take us to Dungeon 4 now. Excuse me. Uh, dungeon 4. Or 3. <laughs> did I go to Dungeon 4? I did beat Dungeon 4, right? Yeah, I did. 
Okay, hang on. Let's try that again. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, gosh. Helldivers 2 looks great, but uh, I haven't played it. I haven't played it at all. Um, so, it's going to take us to dungeon, dungeon 2 here, and then it's going to take us down to Dungeon 1. You're supposed to... Uh, it doesn't... I don't know anywhere in the game where it tells you this, but... So, it takes you through the dungeon sequentially, right? If you if you face down, when you play the flute, it takes you down from dungeon 3 to 2, 2 to 1, 1 to wrap around, you know, to 5 in my case. If you face up, it takes you up a dungeon, right? How about that? How about that? Uh, you know, you, you hold up and it takes you, instead of down a dungeon, it takes you up. So, in this case, it took us from 1 to 2, 2 to 3. You know, how about that? That's kind of cool, right? Oh, thanks, big fan. Thanks, man. I, I appreciate that, my guy. How do people figure this out? I I don't know. For me, it was playing the game way too much. Oh, if I played this game way too much. Yeah, I'm behind. I'm behind my quota on spreading democracy. I know. I know. I considered getting that game, but uh, I would play it a bunch. I would play that game a bunch, and that's the problem. You know, if I'm playing that game, I'm not live streaming. I also I, I work. I work multiple other jobs, and uh, so sometimes uh, sometimes live streaming. Or other work just doesn't allow uh, other games to fit into my schedule. Uh, the only time I play games that, where I'm not streaming is if uh, sometimes 10 minutes before bed I will play them on my uh, my my Game Boy Advance games because <laughs> I still like um, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. That game's the goat. So good. Uh, I'm looking for a shield, and there's no shield in that shop, and I kind of knew that, but oof. Uh. Yuzu help people so much. Oh, hang on. Not all people have money to buy. Yeah, I agree. Not everyone has uh, money to buy a Nintendo Switch. Me, personally, I, I realize it's kind of a gray area. You know, I don't uh, I don't emulate games that I don't own a physical copy of. So there's a bit of a gray area there. But, uh, you know, for legal reasons, I don't know that I can get into it too much on chat. <laughs> or on live stream, or at least maybe I shouldn't. Who's to say? DJ, I never played Advance Wars. And I realize I missed out on that. Just like uh, Fire Emblem. Oh gosh, Fire Emblem, some good tactical games there, and uh, I didn't get to play all of them. Where are we going? We need to go to Dungeon 6, and that's this way, right? So our DS games? Yes, yes. <clears throat> Monster Hunter. So my first Monster Hunter game was actually Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate on the DS. And oh my gosh, Nancy, that uh, because of that, I gave my game, or uh, my uh, 3DS, such a workout. Such a workout, crazy. Crazy amounts of workout. I love that game so much that I bought a second copy of the game for my friend and said, look, you're playing this with me. And he played it with me, thinking it was going to be lame. But then he loved it so much, he kept playing way past where I was. Oof. Oh, gosh, big fan. That's a bummer. That's a bummer, yeah. No, Switch was expensive. I, I'm very fortunate. Uh, I could not have afforded a Switch. But uh, I don't stream on Twitch anymore, really. But I used to exclusively stream on Twitch. And uh, one of my one of my Twitch viewers, he actually comes to my YouTube streams now. Um, he told me, "Hey, I want to see you do a live stream of uh, Breath of the Wild." Back when that came out, I told him, "Well, I, I would, but I don't have a Switch." And uh, he made a deal with me. Told me if I buy the game, he would send me a Switch. It's one that's crazy. That's crazy to me. I I love Cliff a bunch. He's always taking good care of me. But. Uh, that was that was nutty. That was nuts, and uh, so that's how I got my switch. Fortunately, it was it was gifted to me. I never could have afforded it on my own. Easy two x profit. <laughs> uh, you know, some people can flip stuff really well. I don't uh, I don't tend to do that. I just buy for myself and leave it at that usually. Oh, okay, I, I was pretty sure we had enough health for this. So what determines whether or not you can pick up your next sword upgrade is actually how much health you have. Uh, so your maximum health determines if you can grab the next sword. You need five hearts for the uh, the white sword. And, uh, gosh, what is it? 12 hearts, I think? I think it's 12 hearts. One thing that's interesting about this, uh, this is the entrance to the dungeon, right? You walk in the front door. Makes sense. Um, but also, and I don't know why this is, there's a hidden entrance right there. <laughs> I don't know what that's good for. It doesn't really do anything. DJ, hey, thanks for coming by, my guy. Uh, I hope you had a good time on the stream. Uh, take care, and we'll see you next time. Uh, let's see. Who needs a Switch when you've got Game Boy? Gazelle, I, I can agree with that. I did love my Game Boy. 
So Chris, if the if the product's not offered anywhere officially that I can buy, then I don't feel bad uh, uh, emulating it, so to speak. For instance, I played through Sweet Home for the NES, an English translated version of it. The only way to uh, get that is, you know, emulating it, at least here in America. The, uh, the original Japanese version never came to America. It's a fan translation. Uh, by the way, team, if you guys want to see uh, non-live content, I did stream through that. It was kind of a kind of an experiment, and I was learning to do some video editing. And uh, I wasn't I was not a, I'm not a great video editor, but I definitely learned a lot since then. Uh, anyways, uh, I didn't feel bad about emulating that. Uh, maybe I should have. I don't know. I don't think so. But uh, I sure didn't. I sure didn't. Uh, there's no way for me to get that and play that, you know? And uh, I don't think that uh, Nintendo's about to have that one translated, so that's it. That's all you get, right? <laughs> uh, let's switch to bombs just in case. Oh, really? So I, I wouldn't know anything about uh, in Japan. I've actually never been there. I, I would I would love to go. I would love to visit Japan. It's actually uh, it's on the bucket list. 100%. It's on... Oh, no. The, the ghosty got me. Oh, oh, by the way, team, uh, fun fact about the bubbles. I don't know what you call them, if you want to call them, uh, I believe they're named bubbles, but, uh, not everyone calls them that. Uh, but I got a secret for you about the bubbles. Check this out. You ready for this? So if the bubbles hit you, look at this. I'm swinging my sword, right? Swinging my sword, and then, uh, we hit the bubble, and I can't swing my sword, right? It, it delays you, and you're cursed, and you can't swing your sword for a moment, but if you get hit by the bubble and play the flute, the whistle, you can use your sword immediately. There's your there's your secret, right? Are you excited for a Monster Hunter game coming out? Uh Oh, I should I should pay attention to what I'm doing, otherwise we're gonna get wrecked. <laughs> uh if we die on stream, it's not my fault. It's totally my fault. <laughs> uh I, I I'm not sure. I did play a fair bit of Monster Hunter World. And I had a good time with that. Oh, snap. I, I, see, this is me needing to pay attention. I almost got blasted by this dragon. Almost got bubble blasted This dragon's not that difficult, considering we've got the uh, the third sword. Neat. Easy peasy. You don't know PlayStation 5 is cheaper than any console in Japan? That's, that's kind of crazy. I would have expected the uh, Series S Xbox to be the, the cheapest, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go take out this like-like. I never knew what those things were whenever I was younger. I didn't call them like-likes. I called them couches. I thought they looked kind of like couches to me. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Uh, I don't know. Just kind of just kind of goofy. I thought they looked like couches. <laughs> the dungeons with the hands coming out of the walls? The, 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 what are those? Wall masters? Oh, we're about to get Shrek team. This room is, uh, not very Link friendly. Oof. Ooh, I should I should really probably go buy a potion or something. We're in danger. We're in danger, team. Oof. Oh yeah, gosh, team. Uh by the way, if you're having a good time, I invite you to hit the like button. But uh do me a favor. Uh if you're not having a good time, don't hit the like button. Also, what are you doing here? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I I don't have a Series X, nor do I ever plan on buying one. Most games that, uh, yeah, we might die here. I don't know. That's what I get for not paying enough attention. Uh, I would just play on my PC. Uh, so I don't, uh, I don't see the need for me personally to buy a, uh, an Xbox Series X. Most of the games that it, you know, that you can play on it, you can also play on, uh, PC. So I would just do that personally. Oh, God. <laughs> he just had to teleport straight at me. What a goofy guy. Coach, I'm trying my best, buddy. I'll try. I'll try. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of the uh, of the Xbox X or Series X. The 360, though, what a great console. My favorite... Uh, not my favorite console. The SNES, my favorite console of all time. But uh, of its generation, at least, that was my favorite console. 360 crushed it. I loved that one. Loved that one a bunch. Okay, team. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. Uh, we just need to not get hit by the bubbles. Uh, let's equip the bow. And uh, let's go take out uh, uh, Queen Goma here. Oh! Sick dodge, bro. Nailed it. <laughs> I got him! 
All right, Goma. Oof, nailed it. Easy peasy. Not even close, team. Never not had it. Never not had it. <laughs> you guys ready to listen to this long HP recharge sequence right here? Yeah, I loved my 360. I, uh, I, I got it as a, a birthday gift while I was in college, and I didn't know. I didn't know how great of a gift I got. I knew it was expensive, and I even told the person, I said, this is a lot of money. You should definitely just take this back and get your money back. And they said, no, it's a gift for you. Enjoy your gift and shut up, basically. And I said, okay. <laughs> and oh my gosh. I didn't know that I was getting such a great gift. I, the games that... It came with two games. Uh, Lego Indiana Jones and Kung Fu Panda, of all games. And team, Kung Fu Panda for the 360? Kind of a hidden gem. Kind of a hidden gem. That game was sweet. <laughs> I had so much fun playing that game. Craziness. Um, I was, uh, there it is. I knew it was on the screen somewhere. I, had a, I was a big fan of getting all the, uh, uh, getting achievements. I was a big achievement hunter whenever I was uh, playing my 360. Uh, so me and my buddies, we'd go rent games and just try to ransack as many achievements real fast as we could. Oh, gosh, what a great time. We had so much fun doing that. But also, I found a lot of good games that I otherwise never would have tried except, uh, they had achievements, so I thought, well, I'm just gonna hook this up, get a bunch of achievements, and get rid of this game, you know? Rent it, get achievements, get rid of it, you know? Oh, Lego Indiana Jones, oof, also, kinda crazy good. I'm only missing two achievements on it, and that's just because, uh, I don't really know why. They were just tedious to get, and I didn't feel like it. <laughs> Halo, yeah, Halo 3 lobbies. My buddy, I don't know if you know anything about ranked Halo, but he was a 50. And he was very, very proud of his 50. And, uh, gosh, he, uh, he was, he was good. He was good. I didn't play Halo as much. I played Modern Warfare 2 and the original Modern Warfare. I was, a, I was a COD guy. One thing I did learn very quick, you can't play Halo like you would play Call of Duty. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's just, it's not the same game, you know? Let's go ahead and pick up a magic shield. Hopefully we don't get eaten by a like-like. Nice. Moving on. So, uh, last time, team, uh, I, I did do a live stream of this game previously, and, uh, uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out all that well because my, uh, my internet was not being very nice to me. Fortunately, today, it seems to be doing a little bit better. Hmm. We could, uh, maybe push the start button instead of the select button. How about that? Hmm. No, we'll go do level 7 first. I don't know. Do we want... Uh, uh, yeah, let's go do level 8. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, there's a few items in uh, level 8 that we're going to pick up right quick, if we can. Uh, one thing that's really nice about level 8 is uh, it has, uh, has a few items in here that are just really, really strong, right? The uh, That was a good bomb. Nice. Uh, I didn't pick up the uh, bomb upgrade, by the way. There's, a, there's an upgrade that you can buy that lets you carry more bombs, and uh, not necessary. But uh, that's kind of a nice upgrade. 12 bombs or 16 bombs if you buy them both. Can be kind of good. Can be kind of good. No, Bubble, don't do it. Uh, bubble, the biggest boss. True boss fight is avoiding that bubble. Jeebus. Uh, Ghosts was good. I didn't like Ghosts as much. I did not like Ghosts as much. I liked Modern Warfare 1 and 2. 3 was all right. And uh, Ghosts... Er, not Ghost, Black Ops. I like Black Ops 1. Black Ops 2 Zombies? Oh, gosh, that, I crushed that game so much. I loved it. Love Zombies. Brother tried to enter a Halo tournament and pass the requirements? Actually, if he could pass the requirements, that's kind of that's kind of nutty. But they didn't let him play because he was too young. What a bust. Oh, Zapphire. Hello. Nice to see you again. Sorry about that. I, I missed your message there. Parents got you a connect with your 360? Oh, because you loved your grandpa's Wii. Oh, gosh, that's terrible. That's terrible, Gazelle. The, uh, the Kinect is not a Wii. <laughs> They're not even close. I, I mean... It, it, it's could, it could have been worse, but, uh, definitely not the same. Definitely not the same. I'd rather have a, uh... I'd rather have a Wii than a Kinect. <laughs> yeah. Oof. I don't remember the story of, uh, of ghosts, really. Uh, to me, that tells me that I didn't really enjoy it all that much. How about that? Three or two for one bomb killed the boss in its entirety. Also opened the wall. Yeah, S your boy's got skills. 
I definitely didn't do that by accident, and then now I'm claiming I did it intentionally. <laughs> you can't prove it. <laughs> you can't prove it at all. Uh, and the fact that I'm saying it might have happened isn't proof for admission of guilt. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sorry, team. Sorry. Yeah, no, I, I totally meant to do that on purpose. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> it just happened. It just happened. Uh, I tried to place the bomb in an optimal spot, and it worked out well in my favor. I don't think I can bomb this wall. I don't think it's... Yeah, no, I didn't think so. I think we need to go north two, and then there's the one on the right. Or maybe just north one. Uh, this dungeon has the magic key. So if you pick up the magic key, you don't have to worry about collecting keys or buying them in dungeons. Uh, super, super great. And technically, you can actually come get this pretty early. You don't need a whole lot of items. Uh, but the game really gives you enough keys. Honestly, as long as you don't open a bunch of doors that you don't need to, uh, there's plenty of keys in this game, right? Is Riley a good boy? R Riley's Riley is a good boy. Riley tries his best to be a good boy. <laughs> uh, in most cases. In most cases, he does alright. In most cases. But I, I was kind of irritated that they spent so long talking about the dog model. <laughs> Oh gosh, I liked Modern Warfare 2 so much. Uh, Ramirez, take out that tank with this screwdriver, you know? <laughs> oh, hold up. Uh, nice, got them before they moved. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you guys heard this whenever I said it earlier, but uh, the Super Famicom, if you yelled into the, the microphone on the, the controller too, those bunnies, it would it would wreck them all. Uh, they're worse, they're, they're worse? Yeah, they're worse. Uh, there were ways to, uh, defeat those, uh, uh, did I go the wrong way? I'm pretty sure I went the wrong way. Um, uh, there's ways to defeat those enemies, uh, without, uh, attacking them on most of the Japanese versions of the game, but, uh, since there's no microphone on the, uh, NES version, the American version, they made them weak to the bow instead. There you go. Yeah, goofy statues. <laughs> Speaking of 360, you went into your school's theater. See, 10th Enemy has the bomb. This is the guy that I was talking about. He's the one that tells you that, you know, potentially the 10th Enemy that you fight can uh, drop a bomb. Nice. She had a 360 right next to a big stack of games. What a champion. What a champion. I'm jelly. I'm straight jelly. See, we got the, uh, the blue ring, so we don't really even have to be careful while fighting this dragon. We'll just... Done. Dumpstered. Get Shreked! Uh, well, I don't know. I, I defeated it, so it didn't get Shrek. I didn't wrap a chandelier around its neck to use as a, uh, <laughs> as a leash. <laughs> that would have really been getting shrek right? Yeah, R Riley's a good boy. Uh, thanks, Colin. That's really cool of you. I appreciate that, my guy. Uh, we're gonna go back in for the, uh, the magic camp. Pretty sure it's north and then to the right. Is that a Hydra? I think so. I think so. Uh, I don't, I don't really know. I'm gonna call it a Jabberwocky. It's definitely not a Jabberwocky, but I'm gonna call it a Jabberwocky. <laughs> okay, I know the magic key's in here. I'm pretty sure it's in the northeast section. But like I told you guys, I remember a fair bit about this game, but I don't remember everything exactly, so I could be totally wrong about it being in the northeast section. But we're gonna head, we're gonna investigate that area with the assumption that it is. Oh, man, that's what, the, what a great item right there to get. Neat. Easy peasy now. So easy. By the way, team, thanks everyone that's been hanging out. I uh, hope you're all having a good time. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I've also been having a good time. I, I love talking with you guys. I don't know if that's uh, that's obvious or apparent, but uh, I do enjoy chatting, and I hope you guys have uh, have fun uh, with our chats. You know, that's that's always the goal. Always the goal. Oh my gosh! Also the goal: defeat these enemies without getting shrekt by them. Okay. <laughs> Eat a bomb. <laughs> Eat another one. Om nom 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 nom. This guy's got my phone number, and he's dialing it on repeat. Give me that. <laughs> oof. Oof. Okay, nailed it. Nailed it. Nope, didn't nail it. Didn't nail it. Didn't nail it. Got him. Easy peasy. Um, McDonald's? I, uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of McDonald's. They used to be my go-to spot. But, um, uh, also, I was, I was a very, very poor college boy at the time. And they still had the, the dollar menu. You know? Uh, I think I think I'm certain we got to go north. Let's uh, we'll, we'll look around. Pretty sure we got to go north here. 
I'm certain it's in that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. Nice. Ah. Uh, oh. Snap. Whatever. Please run into that. How about that one? Run into that one? Whatever. We'll just we'll just sword fight him. Nice. Uh eating. Oh, hey Goma. What's going on? Oh, this Goma's stronger than the other one. Who knew? I forgot. Have you ever forgotten? Happened to me. Oof. So, one thing I always found amusing about this game is that uh, you don't have arrows. The game just uses your rupees as uh, as arrows. Hmm, interesting, right? There we go. There we go. Get rid of the bunny rabbits. Get rid of the lag. Nice. Easy peasy. Hmm, interesting that those guys are stuck in there. It, it makes them easy to defeat, I guess. Technically, uh, if you set it up just right, you can walk right past this block and you don't have to uh, even push this block. You can just walk through it. And there we go, team. There it is. So uh, we have eight keys, but it's just going to turn into an A. And that's because we don't have to worry about keys anymore. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. Regularly, four McDoubles after the... Four McDoubles? That's a lot of scratch, my guy. Uh, yeah, no, I get it. I, uh, I, uh, I used to get a McDouble and a McChicken. And uh, why did I come in here? I didn't need to do this. <laughs> uh, me and the guys, we'd go and we'd get a McDouble and a McChicken, and we'd tear apart the McDouble and put the McChicken in between and then put the McDouble back on top of it and uh, make a massive sandwich out of it. Get something from the dollar menu while in a field trip once, and now everyone in your class, <laughs> hey, I, I am poor. I'm not even. I'm not even worried about it. You know, uh, but my family's never had a lot of money. We always just made do with whatever we could get, and the dollar menu was my savior, hundred percent. I remember my first semester of college. I couldn't afford to pay my tuition. Uh, I actually had to. I requested all to all my friends. I said, uh, "Hey, you know, I need. I need help. Can anybody? Can anyone do anything?" Uh, you know, I'm trying my best, I'm working, you know, I've got a job, and it's just not enough. And, uh, my friend's dad, a gentleman named Jerry Taylor, came through like a champion. He told me, uh, I got a fun story for you guys. Uh, told me that if I, uh, if I made the Dean's List, I didn't have to pay him back. And so he spotted me the, uh, it was about $270 that I was short. And he gave me the money, and I went and paid off my tuition on the last day, the very last day that they would have accepted it. Uh, I was able to pay off my tuition. And uh, that year, not only did I make the Dean's List, but I was also... My first name is Tracy, right? Um, most commonly, it's a girl's name. I didn't get to pick it. It's just is what it is, right? Well, not only did I make the Dean's List, but I was also nominated for Outstanding Freshman Woman. True story. Uh, I'm not a woman, nor have I ever decided to be, but uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, who do you like talking with the most? Uh, all of you guys? <laughs> I can't pick just one. Uh, tell me to pick my favorite toe, why don't you? <laughs> I like all my toes, thank you. Oh gosh, you dig? <laughs> yeah, gosh, big fan. Oh, it was, it was great. And I went to I went to collect it, and uh, the look on their faces. I said, "Yeah, my name's Tracy. I live in the male dorm, the male only dorm room." <laughs> yeah, good times, good times, right? Oh no, I'm definitely not gonna rebrand my channel for not to that. I did think about rebranding my channel. I think that would be uh, maybe good for me, but uh, uh, you know, I I considered it. I, I considered it something something different. Uh, I used to be really bashful while streaming, so there was a time where I considered changing it to Bashful Mayhem, but uh, I didn't end up doing that, and uh, now I don't necessarily think it suits me. I I'm not bashful like I used to be. Oh, let's get some of this. We'll need it. Technically, you don't need it, but whatever. Oh, sorry team. I've been talking a bunch. Name is also a pretty common girl's name. Gosh, Gazelle, sorry about that. Uh, <clears throat> I, di I didn't mind at the time, but uh, I, I thought it was kind of funny. At first, I thought it was a joke. It wasn't a joke. 
But uh, I did find it humorous. That is a cherry 7-up, Levi. Also, hello, nice to see you, buddy. I did see where you said, said hello. Pikito is very important. Yeah, very important. Um, I'm a big fan of my, uh, uh, I don't know, like the middle toe, I guess. Yeah, that one. The, the very middle one. It's, uh, it's very precious to me. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I don't even know. All my toes are, are the same, I guess. I'm indifferent. All right, team. Here we go. Uh, we kind of did it out of order. Um, uh, we skipped level seven, went to level eight. Uh, but now we're, we're back here for some more level seven goodness. You did your middle toe in a heartbeat, but bro... If you're if you're getting tipped over, it gives you such stability. Kind kind of nece maybe not necessary, but uh, I don't know. I kind of like my middle toe and my my big toe. I uh, I actually walk on my toes, team, quite a lot. I got called Twinkle Toes a whole bunch whenever I was younger. Back then, it really irritated me. Today, I, I don't care. But uh, yeah, I uh, I walked on my toes a lot, and uh, I need my toes for that. <laughs> How do you walk on your toes if you don't have toes? You know? It changes the game a little bit. Uh, by the way, guys, thanks thanks y'all for hanging out. I, I'm glad that y'all are here, and I hope you're having a good time. Don't mind, honestly, what makes it uh, funnier is... Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Is that... I'm named after... See, Gazelle? Ah, uh, I am also named after my dad. I have the same name as my dad. <laughs> I'm a junior! I'm a junior. <laughs> it's in my name. Oh, gosh. Yes. Yes, nice. How, how do I walk if if I'm lactose? What do you mean, uh, Colin? Ditch the middle toe in a heartbeat. One McDouble's <laughs> Your The middle toe's not worth much to you, is it? Oof. Uh, there's a secret in the nose. The tip of the nose. Okay, so this guy... Uh, not... Uh, I don't, I don't know. He says in the tip of the nose, if you look at the map, there's an area that he's talking about. But in my opinion, it just doesn't look like a nose. It doesn't look like a nose at all. Wow. You guys want to know something? We went through uh, Dungeon 6 and I didn't even pick up the wand. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't go grab it. I walked right by it. Oops. Uh, yeah, but gosh, your your boy Mayhem's walked on his toes ever since he was a, a wee lad. Ever since I was knee-high to a sand mouse, I've walked on my toes. And, uh, I, I don't know, it doesn't bother me. To me, it's just normal, right? But, uh... <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Soldier's getting angry. Yeah, fake angry, but, you know. <laughs> oh, I bought this shield. I shouldn't have done that because I could have got the extra bombs here. Uh, whatever, we'll come back whenever we got more money. We'll pick up more rupees. It's no big deal. I don't, I don't need it, honestly, anyways. It's nice to have, but uh, you don't need it. You can totally get by without it. Oh, I I'm done. I'm done. I'm a little crazy. A little crazy, soldier. It happens, you know? Yeah, yeah, same. Same, gazelle. Gosh, how do you, how do you do that? You know, how do you do that? How are you so bad at this? <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, uh, later that year, I became a, an RA. I was an RA at my college. Um, does that make me a nerd? <laughs> Probably. Uh, Lyric, hey, thanks for coming by, buddy. Always happy to see you. Uh, I hope that you have a good night. We'll see you next time, my dude. Take care. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was not a, not a big fan of uh, of uh, that name of, of my name necessarily. Uh, I guess I don't hate it. You know, whenever you're younger and people make fun of you for things that you can't control, that's irritating, I guess. But uh, as you get older, it just matters less and less. And to me, my name, whatever, it's just my name. Like it, hate it, I don't care. You know. Yeah, gosh, uh, I I did. Uh, I did save uh, quite a bit on housing, but honestly, anyone that says that uh, it's not a lot of work and you just get free housing to do nothing, I don't know what kind of college you're going to, but oof. Oh, dang it. I, did, I made a mistake there, so I was going to show you guys a trick. It doesn't really matter because I've got the master key, but 
this door right here that I just unlocked, you actually don't need to unlock it at all. Uh, you can uh, you can totally just avoid it, and uh, it's fine. I'm, I'm walking over here so that way those uh, the bubbles won't hit me. It got me anyways. <laughs> there we go. Get rid of that nerd. Uh, so yeah, you don't actually have to uh, unlock that door at all. Fun fact. Come here, blue guy. I'm blue da ba dee da ba da or whatever. <laughs> got him. Okay. So, you can actually just bomb this wall right here. Neat, right? Oh, okay. Uh, no, I was I was a strict RA. I was a strict RA. So you can go north and you go right here. And you don't even have to unlock that door. Not that it really matters. It's just one of those, uh, those little things that can save you a key if you maybe you don't know where the master key is or you just haven't gone to get it. Uh, yeah, don't buy keys in this game. You really don't need to do that. Uh, but anyways, ta-da, there you go. No, no. So one time, one time I was, uh, I'm, I'm RA. It's 1 a.m. in the morning, and I'm walking back to my room, and I hear a noise down the hallway. I'm thinking, it's quiet hours. What are these guys doing? Uh, and uh, I knock on the door, and they open the door, and I see that they're in there playing rock band at 1 a.m. in the morning. So loud. Oh, my gosh. So naturally, I, I step inside and play drums. <laughs> yeah, we're crushing it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, loved rock band. Loved rock band. I love Guitar Hero. DDR was my jam. I used to be I used to be kind of good at DDR, not going to lie. Uh, yeah, loved loved DDR, right? <laughs> oh no, no. So uh you have Oh, you hear the ultimate question. Favorite dinosaur? Uh the Brontosaurus. 100% the Brontosaurus. Uh, there you go. Yeah, no, I was I was an I was an awesome RA. Uh, I had my guys back. If they needed stuff, I was there for them. You know, I know a lot of RAs didn't really do that. I, I say I know. I heard a lot of stories about other RAs just not taking care of folks. You know, uh, but I I did. You know, I, I I was there for my guys. I don't drink at all ever. Not even once. Uh, don't smoke. I don't do drugs. It's just a personal choice. You know, my. Uh, my uh, my my real dad was a was a bad drunk, uh, very abusive to my mom. So uh, yeah, I never wanted to drink. Uh, drugs. There's some other drug problems in my family that I was just not a big fan of, and so I told myself, you know, I don't want that either. So never did. Uh, but you know, if my if my guys needed a, a ride home, I would rather them call me than you know drive inebriated. So. Hey, give me a call. I don't care if it's 3 a.m. in the morning. I'll come get you. You know that sort of thing. So, yeah, I, I don't know if uh, I don't know if that makes me the homie, big fan. But I, I would rather my guys get home to their dorm safely, and uh, I could definitely facilitate that as their RA because I knew where they lived. I would just make sure they got back safely. You know. Oof, oof. Not not that it was always so easy to do, but one time we did we host a we hosted a. Uh, uh, a tournament. We, we did a lot of tournament games, right? One of those was dodgeball. We had a dodgeball tournament, and that was so much fun. I love, love dodgeball. How cool is that, right? Uh, anyways, yeah, dodgeball. Great fun. And, uh, oh, man, I felt like a champion. You know, uh, the movies where there's, uh, uh, there's two guys left on the enemy team, and, and you're only one, one person left on your team, right? I hate these bubbles. Get lost, bubbles. <laughs> There's there one of these blocks you push, I think. I don't remember which one. But anyways, uh, I don't know if I got all the enemies because uh, one of those uh, one of those hands might have gotten away because these bubbles won't leave me alone. <laughs> Get lost, bubbles. Okay, fine. Uh, you don't smoke anymore? Well, good, big fan. I'm uh, I'm I'm, I'm glad for that. If that's uh, if that's what you want, you know. Uh. I'm not saying that everyone who does that's a villain or something like that. Don't let me, don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm just, I've seen it used in not good ways and it uh, affected, affected my life negatively. So, uh, so I just don't bother with that, you know? Alcoholism runs in your family, Gazelle. So you're gonna avoid as much as possible. Hey, well, uh, in my opinion, not a bad move. Not a bad move. Saves you a lot of money too. I know, uh, I know two guys, two of my uh, friends that 
dropped out of college because they couldn't afford it. And they couldn't afford it because they bought too much, you know, uh, too much alcohol. They, they, they uh, prioritized that. Uh, check this out, team. This, uh, this goofy enemy right here, if you play the whistle, he gets angry and starts shooting more bullets at you. Kind of nuts. I don't know why that works, but, uh... Yeah, kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. He'll just keep shooting, right? He can only shoot so many because uh, the NES limitations, but there you go. One of those goofy weird things, right? Uh, <laughs> oh, sure, I don't know. That's a terrible question. I don't know, buddy. Uh, not always the case, but usually. I guess they're... Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a goofy question. Not always the case, by the way, but yeah, sometimes. Uh, yeah, gosh, Colin, I just always wanted to be a better me, and I, I never wanted to be in a situation where I didn't have full, complete control over what I was doing, you know, me and what I was doing. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just never, just never went with that. You know, I saw... Oh, we could go get those... Let's go get more bombs right quick, actually. Design... Oh, yeah, Link's design. Look, he's got white eyebrows. <laughs> his eyebrows are the same color as whatever his tunic is. How cool is that? Uh, that's just one of those goofy things, I guess, right? Oh, I missed a heart container. Which one did I miss? I don't remember which one I missed. Eh, it doesn't matter. We got plenty of, plenty of health. I didn't go pick up the wand either, because I'm a goofy, goofy guy. Oof. Yeah, yeah, the boss designs. I, I like the boss designs. The original Goma? To be just to be fair. Just to be perfectly clear. N64 Goma? Pretty sweet. Especially for the first boss that you see in that game. You know? Kinda cool. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's do this. I think. I don't know if we can go left here. Yeah, we can. Okay. Nice. Let's do that. Yeah. He's got uh, he's got eyebrows, but it's whatever color his tunic is. Mmm. Mm. Uh, oh, hey. Key that we don't need. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Before you get the uh, the upgraded ring, he has... Uh, uh, he's got green eyebrows. When you get the later ring, he's got red eyebrows. I bet you'd like to carry more bombs. Yeah. Sure would. Thanks, champ. Appreciate that. Nice. Uh, also, fun fact. The, the, how you save in this game is you have to get a game over, right? No, actually, you can uh, you can totally save your game, but you have to have two controllers. Uh, if you press what is it up and A, I think on controller two, if that's plugged in, it'll offer you the option to save and quit without having to uh, take a you know uh, take a fall. You can keep your number at zero if you want. How about that? I'm a big fan of having my, you know, dies counter at zero. That's that's the only way to do it, right? That's the only way to do it. Oh, well, gosh, uh, soldier, uh, man, I hope you get some good rest, my dude. You've uh, you've been a champion. Thanks for always hanging out, buddy. Take care. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this, indeed. Also, Colin, thanks, buddy. I do appreciate that. That's really good. That's really great of you. Really sweet of you. I need to I need to find. There's probably some way that I can set up an alert or a bot or something that can. Uh, you know, say something in the chat. That'd be that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Uh, I don't have a way of doing that yet, but I need to need to look into that. Need to look into that. Uh, do we go to the to the last one now? Do we go to the end? Oh, also. Uh, little side note. I never went and picked up the wand. <laughs> Why did I skip the? I went and got the book of magic. I didn't pick up the wand. Ugh! I just didn't go get it in dungeon six. Whatever. We don't need it, I don't think. See ya, soldier. Take care. Oh, back roads. Hey! I, well, I, I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, thanks for thanks for hanging out, man. I hope, you, hope you're having a good time. Uh, hope you, Maybe you learned something. Ho hope, uh, hope I taught you something. Uh, I don't know if I did. I don't know everything about this game, but uh, I do know a fair bit. Can't execute all the tips and tricks and secrets that I know, but uh, I can most of them. Most of them are just knowledge, you know? Knowledge-based. 
Oh, gosh, sorry, I was thirsty. I was big thirsty. Ah, uh, wife's calling me. Wife's calling me. Hang on, team. Hi, honey bunny. I'm streaming. Okay, love you. Bye. I love my wifey sauce. <laughs> okay, she got to no. Now you know. All right, team. This this uh, place right here. This is the last dungeon. This is the last dungeon. Ganon's Castle, or I don't know if it's called Ganon's Castle. I, can't, I think it's just called Death Mountain in this one. Backroads. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. This dungeon. This dungeon I don't know as well. I don't know basically any of it off the top of my head. Uh, I do know I don't like whiz robes. Worst enemy in the game. Oof. Oof. I hate whiz robes. <laughs> I hate whiz robes. They just teleport around. They teleport right into you. You can't hit them, but they still damage you. What kind of garbage is that? Okay. We're, we're fine. Everything's fine. I don't think we can bomb these walls. No, definitely not the right one. Oh, somebody. Welcome back, buddy. Yeah, we're wearing a, a, a Zelda-appropriate hat. Okay, like likes, be gone. Be gone. I will not give you my shield. So if you have a magic shield and uh, you get eaten by a like like, they will take your shield. How lame is that? Oof. Uh, Gazelle, what are you studying? If you don't mind me asking. And also, yeah, definitely t take care of business. I get it. I get it. We got to take care of business, you know? Uh, somebody, this is the final dungeon. This is it. Uh, also, uh, by the way, Gazelle, just uh, just in case you are uh, you didn't know, I plan to, on next Thursday, a week from today, I'm off work. I actually took off work just so I could do a bonus stream. We're going to run through uh, A Link to the Past, the entire game, in one stream. Hopefully. <laughs> it's a bit of a longer game compared to most games that I stream, you know? Uh... Oh, I can still hurt them. I'm a dingus. I didn't know that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was hoping to uh, finish them all off. Or finish that entire game in one stream. One stream next Thursday. Uh, so if you're interested, that'll be that'll be midday. Uh, you know, I understand most people may have to work or uh, schooling or whatever the case may be. Uh, hmm, Spanish. Nice. I, uh, uh, yo hablo un poco español. Uh, May a studio in uh, la universidad. Uh, mi jefe uh, es, es mexicano. Uh, yo uh, practico mi español con mi jefe a veces en la oficina. You know, a little bit. Uh, my, my Spanish isn't fluid, but uh, I, I, I do know a little bit. I know a little bit. <laughs> I ue ikpe, I ude ikpe patently. Ude uye? I speak good big Latin. I a pizza udge ikpe patently. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> well, thanks, uh, backroads. I'm I'm going in a. I went in a circle. Oh no, one health. Uh, potion time. We don't want to hit the death button, right? Nice. <laughs> yeah, I learn, right? <laughs> There's your uh, your very bad uh, sign language. My wife learned sign language, or she was learning sign language, and she did teach me a little bit of it. I just went a big circle, by the way, so that's cool. Uh, Gazelle, thanks for coming by. Always nice to have you. I hope that you uh, have a good night. Uh, we need to go north. Can I go to the right? I don't think I can go to the right. Maybe I can. I know almost with certainty that wall is not bombable. Wow. Wow! Understands the language. Yeah, I, I understand the language. Ah, uh, I don't know if I understand it all that well. My buddy and I, we used to speak Pig Latin to each other. We got really fast at it because we wanted to be able to talk to each other, and you know, obviously, we didn't want everyone to know what we're saying. Most people could understand Pig Latin, but uh, not 
not if you spoke really quickly. My my buddy uh, Kiros and I, we could speak it really quickly and just pick up, pick it up, and put it down, you know. But uh, yeah, not most people could understand, but you'd have to speak slowly. Oh man, I love that. What a great language. There was also a time where we tried to learn. Uh, I don't know if you. Oh no, it got me. Okay, we got our shield still. Nice. Uh, Albed. We tried to learn to speak Albed, and uh, we couldn't really speak it. But we did. Uh, we would pass notes to each other. Yeah, remember back when we didn't, we couldn't text each other. And you had to pass notes. What a bunch of nerds. <laughs> yeah, we would. Uh, we would pass notes back and forth to each other in Albed, and uh, that was awesome. We were so we were crafty little nerds, and uh, our teachers hated it. Our teachers hated it so much because uh, they didn't know what we were saying. And we wouldn't tell them, obviously. <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. We're bad. Oh, this enemy. This enemy's rough. Actually, probably the hardest enemy in the game. Legit. No joke. Uh, can straight wreck you if you're not careful. Even if you are careful, honestly, it can do some damage. So the, the outer eyes, uh, you have to defeat them before you can damage the inner eye. Hmm. Go to the next room! He's telling us go left. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna burn the wall down! Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, made a fake written language in elementary. Nice! Uh, we used a fake language, but uh, technically we didn't make it. We just used... Uh, so, it, I don't know if you guys have ever played Final Fantasy X. Uh, yeah, go to the next room trying, thanks. <laughs> um, but anyways, in Final Fantasy X, there's a... Uh, a language called Albed, and uh, we learned to translate, you know, which letter meant what, because that's all it was, just a basic letter swap. Um, and uh, we would use that. We would use that. Uh, I definitely know where I'm going. You can't prove that I don't. Like I told you guys, I, I know this game pretty well. I don't really know this dungeon all that well, actually. Uh, so I'm... I'm we're walking around, we're uh, getting parts of the dungeon unlocked, and uh, then I might, I may go grab another potion. Uh, if we can afford it. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Stop it, Wizrobes! Stop it, Wizrobes! What are you doing? Uh, open door, please? Thanks. <laughs> oh, this guy also kind of tough. Give me the fairy! Got him. Easy. Easy team. Not even close. Not even close, right? Boop. Oh. So reading it. Reading it is kind of weird, I guess. I, I'm not very familiar with reading it, Backroads. This guy. This one's the worst. Look at the way those guys oscillate. Uh, very easy to take damage from this guy. Uh, very easy. Come on! Oof. Got him. So close. Easy. Big pay at and leg. <laughs> oh, snap! I thought I had my potion. I'm a dingus. There we go. Nailed it. Not even close, team. Wasn't even sweating it for an instant. Not even an instant, right? Yeah, I got it from your grandpa. Not Nice. I honestly don't remember where I learned it. Mom, yeah, I remember that you could understand. Uh, you know, we couldn't we couldn't sneak one over on you. You would uh you would pick up on it. Um, uh, if we spoke really fast, uh, maybe not as well, but, uh, yeah, I, I could, I could talk to you in secret and, uh, stepdad didn't know. <laughs> oh gosh, good times, right? Be gone, demon, goofy couch looking monster. <laughs> what do those things look like to you guys? I always kind of thought it looked like a couch. It's obviously not a couch, but... The couch eats my stuff sometimes. <laughs> why not? Why couldn't the like like be a couch and eat my stuff? You know, I'm just saying. It fits. It could fit. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, yeah, big fan. My my mom's not an idiot. <laughs> She's a very smart woman. Uh, but also, I I never never hide it. Never hide it. Yeah, never hid anything from my mom. She knew all of my secrets. She knew all of my secrets. I, I had I had no secrets from Mama Mayhem. 
Even even the the ones that you wouldn't typically tell your parents. I, I told my mom everything. Yeah. Yeah. No, mom. I was definitely a mama's boy. Loved my mom and just told her everything. You know, I, there were a lot of times when I didn't feel like I had a dad growing up. So uh, Mama Mayhem was uh, was Daddy Mayhem as well <laughs> in many ways. You know. Okay. Nope. Nope. Get dunked. Let's see. We need to, uh, what is it, go to the right or the left? I think it, I think we gotta go to the left, but I'm gonna bomb, bomb the right wall as well. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was to the left. Oh, meant to, meant to take that damage. Definitely, you can't prove I didn't. Let's go. Yeah, gosh, big fan. Uh, freaking love Mama Mayhem. You know, there's, there's a reason why. Uh, oh, snap, no. Be gone, like, like. No, it took my shield. Arr, ate my shield, goopy thing. Okay. Yeah, there's a reason why, you know... Super happy, uh, you know, to put on this stream, maybe uh, help help support my mom. Yeah, buddy, you better believe I would be happy to do that. Oh my gosh, uh, we're actually this is the boss to the north. We can't go in there. Uh, we'll just die if we go in there. Uh, I gotta, we gotta go back and uh, pick up the. Uh, we gotta have the uh, the silver arrow, otherwise we can't beat him. Uh, so I can't go that way. Can't go that way. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, back roads definitely some history right there. That's why the Germans never got our code. Navajo was unbreakable, huh? I uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know a lot about those sorts of codes. Definitely Albed easily translated. Definitely easily translated. Not much. Uh, not much secret there, in my opinion. So I think the. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, the silver arrow is off to the left of this map, and uh, the uh, the red ring is off to the right. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I don't know that I want to go that way to the right. I think that walks me into a loop. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, these guys. Easy room right here. Uh. Give me health, please. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, wall go boom. I'm glad I didn't try to burn it down again. That never works. That one never works. Oh. Well, they already got my shield. Whatever. Come at me, like, like. What else are you going to take from me? Did it take anything else from me? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe it did. <laughs> Yeah, floating goofy eyeballs. Ooh, some of the enemies in this game. Just what a pain in my hide, right? A uh, bunch of bats. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, wow. We, I, we never even picked up the map. I'm not sure where the map is in this. That's that's a money. I could use some money, I guess. Okay, but we did... Uh, we did do quite a bit of exploring. Actually, the map might be just north of here. I don't know. I'm low health, though. Kind of nervous. Kind of nervous. Get Shreked! Dunkled! Gosh, these enemies are not being very good to me. I could go for them dropping a little bit of health right about now. Oh no, Goofy. Goofy Bubble! What are you doing? And I don't have my, my shield anymore. Nice. Nailed it. First try. Perfect. Not even close, team. By the way, you guys may notice that I say that a bunch. <laughs> even especially when it's real close. Uh, oh gosh, big fan. I'm not sure about the time. Uh, I would I would like to get started a little bit earlier because uh, it is going to be a longer stream. Uh, I don't know how fast I can beat that game. I'm not a speedrunner. Um, I don't know. Uh, probably, I'm probably going to eat lunch and then hit it. You know, uh, eat lunch and then go for it. I don't know what time lunch is. Uh, usually around 11, 30, 12-ish. So I'll probably eat some lunch and uh, then just go for it. Oh, snap! Uh, one thing you guys may notice about my streams, I tend to try to do it all in one sitting. You know, no bathroom breaks or any of that stuff. Um, that's not always a good thing. Sometimes by the end of a stream, my bladder's absolutely screaming. Oof, actually the, shield, uh, the, the map is south of here, I think. 
the sh I said the shield. The map, I think. I think it's one more screen to the south. Bob. It's getting dangerous. It's getting dangerous. I'm so low on health. Come on, give me a health. A fairy. A heart. You heartless monsters. <laughs> yeah, backside, the, the beeping drives me nuts. Drives me nuts. Ah, gosh, Colin, I... This game is a beautifully put together game, uh, Backroads. Uh, I definitely could not have, uh, you know, as a, I knew it was going to do that. I knew it was going to just ghost its way up the north side of that map or the north side of that room. Mm, goofy thing. Goofy thing. All right. We're going to hit the continue button. Let's go pick up some potions. I've got, uh, I've got uh, a fair bit of the map explored now. I think we can finish it off. It's fine. Honestly, it's better backroads than uh, than listening to the uh, uh, the beeping. I'm down with it. I'll do it. Boop. Let's see. Where was our last dungeon? Dungeon three. Hey, this is excellent. Actually, puts us right next to both a fairy and the potion shop. Let's get it, and then we'll go finish the game. Uh, backroads. It's my fault. You know, anything that you're doing is more difficult when you're trying to stream it. It's it's just a fact. If you're if you're doing a good job in streaming, you know, you're trying to be interactive. I, I always try to keep up my interactions. To me, the game takes a backseat to the chat. I would rather mostly focus more on the chat than uh the the game, usually, you know, to me. That's just better in my opinion, you know. <laughs> oh yes, by the way, team, I did put a uh, buy me a coffee link in the description. If you're interested, of course there's uh there's definitely no obligation, and uh, I won't like you more if you do, and I won't like you less if you don't. Please, just, uh, if, if you're interested. Thanks, uh, thanks, Colin, for mentioning that, by the way. Uh, tried your hand at this game, and the beep, yeah, beeping got a little annoying, 100%. Uh, I don't know, it does, it does annoy me at times, but, uh, sometimes it, I can only barely hear the game, actually, because I'm just playing it off my TV, but I can't let it be too loud or it'll pick up on my microphone. Uh, so I can barely hear it. Uh, I hope it's plenty audible for you guys. I feel like it's honestly a little bit on the low side. Uh, maybe it's a little too soft. Maybe just a little bit too soft. Let me turn that up a tiny bit. There we go. Maybe that's better. <laughs> let, let me know if that's, if it's better now or if it was fine before. Oof, I'm gonna run away from that actually. We're good. We're good. But yeah, usually I try to do my streams all in one sitting. Because, uh, breaks... Are, are, are excellent, good for my health for sure, but uh, typically not good for the stream. Uh, I used to take breaks all the time, not all the time, but as needed when streaming, when I used to stream to Twitch. Uh, but I don't know, you come back and you see that 20 or 30% of your viewers have left. That's a little disheartening, makes you not want to take a break. Oh, Ariane, V8, hello, welcome, thanks for coming back by. Always nice to see you again. Honestly, I, it's always nice to see all of you again, anytime you come back by, I really appreciate that. Uh, Backroads, thanks for that, buddy, I'm glad you think so. Uh, hope, I hope I can do that for you every time. Not every stream will be a, a Zelda game, or even a Nintendo game. I, uh, I like to mix it up on occasion, you know? Uh, Primal. If my bladder's absolutely screaming at me, uh, I'll go. You know, I'll tell I'll tell you guys, hey, I, I got it. It's, it's dire. We're doing this, you know? <laughs> but usually I try to just not do that. Usually I just try not to. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got to go this way first, right? Oh, hey, old Backroads. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. I hope I hope he does like it. I hope he has a good time as well. You know, uh, a lot of times like father, like son. Not in my case, honestly. I'm, uh, I do share a lot of similarities with my dad, but uh, not, hopefully not all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, big fan. Or Colin, if uh, if it's actually, actually dire, yeah, I'll just go. You know, I try not to, but uh, if it's getting, if it's getting rough, I will, I'll just go. It's, uh, it's better that way, you know? That way I'm not dying. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I prefer to not die or be in pain, you know? So, uh, yeah, we'll do it that way. But, uh, thanks, Backside. Uh, or Backside? <laughs> Backroads is what I meant to say. I can speak English, bro. This wall. No. 
It's not that wall. It's the wall down below. We gotta break, break a wall to the right. I'm certain. It just came to my brain. One of these walls we break. It is this one because we go north twice. Duh. Oh, I'm such a goofy goober. I'm such a goober. I knew that. Stop, stop doing that. Stop doing that, goofy enemy. <laughs> this guy is the bane of my existence. He's just such a pain to fight. Uh, yeah, Backroads, thanks for that, man. I, I appreciate that. I hope, uh, I hope your dad does enjoy the stream. That, that would thrill me. Look at that, look at that map. It's like a mask, right? It's like, I hope silver away. Something like that. Sorry, I'm a bit of a nerd. <laughs> I'm a little goofy. Yeah, English is hard. Uh, and I speak English, you know? <laughs> I couldn't imagine trying to do English if I didn't already speak English. I already speak it, and it's one of the hardest languages I know. Oof. Oof. Okay, we're gonna bomb this wall. It's up here. The ring of take less damage is up here. Are I a dad? Uh, Primal, I am not. You know, the wife and I have talked about it. Um, maybe. Uh, we wanna, we wanna go on a, a trip, though, before we have kids. She's never been outside the U.S., and, uh, I'd like to take her sometime, you know? That'd be fun. Uh, I don't know where we want to go exactly. Alright, so, Colin, look at Link's eyebrows. Is it me or are those white? They're totally white, aren't they? Now we're gonna pick up this ring, and now look at his eyebrows. They're red. <laughs> He's got red eyebrows! So, the, the NES can only have so many colors loaded at the same time. It's just a limitation of the uh, the, the hardware, right? Um, so that's why it does that. And it doesn't just affect Link's eyebrows. There's a couple of other things that it affects. Uh, for instance, the, the color of the raft. When you sail on the water, you know, uh, it will change the color. Uh, we gotta go south from the other area. The, uh, the compass is down there, I think. Uh, it's been a little bit. Anyways, uh, yeah, gosh, there's there's only so many colors that can be loaded on the NES at once, and that's why when you change the color of one thing, sometimes it affects other things. For instance, like Link's eyebrows, I mentioned the raft. I don't need the compass, I know where the boss is. We actually already found our way to him. Uh, and I don't think I went south here previously, I don't remember. Maybe I did. Maybe I'm a dingus, you know? Uh, let's see. I think I did come this way. I think I did. Okay. Get dunked, whatever you are, and whatever you are. Oh, nice bombs. I need those. Wonder how that came about in the coding? <sighs> so, I know a little bit about how the NES was, and I do mean only a little bit about how the NES was programmed. Um, but I know some things just, it loads a, a color in memory and certain objects are just uh, reference that piece of that piece of memory to to know what color it should be. And uh, I, someone who actually knows real coding, like a bunch, like in depth, will probably know that I'm explaining it like a like a toddler trying to explain, you know, quantum physics. Anyways, uh, due to the the limitation. Certain things in the in the game just point to a uh, uh, a registry that tells it what color it should be, and it loads that color. Well, because there's only so many colors that the NES can load, multiple things might re uh, reference the same registry to get their color. Uh, Colin, I have I've seen a couple of summoning salt uh, YouTube videos. Uh, the his uh, video covering the blindfold uh, punch out speed runs. That's pretty sweet. Uh, the video is well done, but uh, just the blindfolded running in general, in general, yeah, general, have always fascinated me. That's a thing that I think I could do, but oh my gosh, that would take me an ungodly amount of practice. You know, that would be ridiculous. I have a, uh, I have a pretty decent memory, um, so I think I could, with enough practice, do a blindfolded run. But I don't have, I do not have enough, uh, enough time to practice that at all. Not even close, you know. Oh, really? Ah, uh, Backroads. We did a live stream uh, of uh, of that very game. 
somewhat recently. What was it, last week? Two weeks ago? I forget. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, we did beat it. I actually lost to... Uh, uh, I don't have uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I just have the, uh, the later version that's just Punch-Out. Um, and uh, I... Uh, I lost. I lost the first time I fought. You know, Mr. Dream is uh, his name in uh, the, the later version. But anyways, I, I did not beat Mike Tyson. Lost to him barely. But we did fight him a second time, and I won the second time. The comeback kid! Yeah, got him. <laughs> oh, well, hey, thanks. Thanks, Backroads. I would appreciate that, buddy. I, I need... I, I'm not monetized yet. And it's because I don't have enough watch time, so that would genuinely uh, help me out, so I appreciate that idea. Um, just so you know, in the first half of the game, we're actually playing uh, Super Mario 64. That's a game that I'm not very skilled at, I haven't played very much of it. Um, so, if you're if you're interested in the, the punch-out part, I would advise you to skip the Mario 64 part. I'm, I'm not very skilled at Mario 64. I own it, but I didn't own it until I was an adult, so I've never had much time to play it. And, uh, I don't know. That's not very good. But, uh, the, uh... I can vouch for the punch-out part. I'm pretty decent at punch-out. I, I even, uh, teach a few tricks during the live stream. Something I try to do during all of my live streams, so if you're interested in that... There you go, buddy. Piston Honda. Yeah. Oh, I have a short! I have a short on, uh, Piston Honda. There's, uh... Uh, his, he backs up, you know, jumps forward doing his little combo deal. There's a, there's a little punch that you can do in there to, uh, uh, just knock him out. If you, if you hit him in the gut, right as he jumps at you, it just knock him straight out. Doesn't matter how much health he has. Uh, another pro of that is, uh, you don't have to hit him in the gut. You can hit him with the star punch. Kind of unnecessary. Kind of unnecessary. Uh, it just adds some stylish flair to it, you know? Just just adds some stylish flair, in my opinion, at least. I think this is a loop. A non-stop loop. Hang on, team. I gotta drink some tea. Oof. Eyes of the Skull has a secret. Yeah. 100%. One is the compass. And I don't know what the other one is. So, gosh, team. We went and picked up the magic key. What a great boon. You know, I would have had enough keys if I had been, uh... If I had made sure to use them only as needed. Uh, there's several doors, and there's not enough keys for you to unlock every door without having to buy some keys. But, uh... There are enough keys that you can unlock all the required doors. So as long as you're, as long as you're careful on that, you'll be fine. You don't need the magic key. Uh, well, uh, thanks, Backroads. I appreciate that, buddy. I, I've got a lot of streams planned, a lot of ideas. Like I said, on, on Thursday, we're going to do A Link to the Past. Uh, I'd like to do uh, Master Quest. We're going to do Majora's Mask, so several Zelda games, but also several non-Zelda games. Um, I'd like to play through Super Mario World. Uh, I did stream that once, but uh, back then, my, uh, my viewership was not very strong. And uh, I think uh, I think we could do it again and have more fun with the uh, with some stronger viewership that I have now. You know, I don't uh, my streams don't absolutely explode and they don't go crazy with numbers, but uh, I think uh, I do think that they're a little bit stronger now than they were back then. So uh, maybe we could do that too. Maybe we could do that too. Got a got a lot I want to do. Always a lot I want to do. Ah, uh, there. So I'm hoping. So, let me just uh, lay this out to you guys. Hoping to build up a, a little bit of an audience. That way I can carry, hopefully, some of you guys over to not as popular games that I love. Uh, there's some games that are wildly good, in my opinion. But, uh, that's not a bombable wall. This one might be. But they're just not as well known. So if I were playing them, I don't think I would find any viewership. But, uh... If, uh, if you guys didn't know that we were playing it that night, but happened to tune in because you're already subscribed, maybe you would find a new game that you loved that you didn't know you loved, you know? This door right here, completely pointless to open, by the way. Waste of a key. 
waste of a key for sure, but we don't care. We've got the uh, we got the master key, right? Oh yes, uh, you made the the comment about your finger, and I, I knew it was you right away. Aisha, I, I hope you uh, get some good sleep. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you next time. Oh, gosh, the uh... all right team, we got to get the silver arrow. It's over there on the left. It's over there on the left. I'm pretty sure the left side of the map. But how do we get to it? How the heck do we get to that thing? Hmm. Hang on, let's take a little peek at the map here. Okay. I do think we need to, uh... I don't... I think this will take us back. And not the way we need to go. Uh, I think this takes us back and not to the way we need to go. So, uh, let's check it out right quick. Just real quick. Yeah, this is, uh... Not the, not the good way. Let's go back... Wait, 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 wait. That is the good way. I think. No, no, I was... I should have trusted my instincts. Uh, this is the way we need to go. I'm telling you guys, I, uh, I do know this game reasonably. Just like A Link to the Past. I know a lot of... a lot about it. I know quite a few secrets also. But, uh... I, I don't know everything about the game. That wall is not bombable. I'm pretty... I'm certain. But... I don't know, it never hurts to drop a bomb unless you're running low like I am. <laughs> <clears throat> it's totally fine to drop bombs unless you're low like I am. Oh well, gosh, Colin, I'm, I'm glad that's uh, I'm glad that's feeling better. Yeah, I would have I would have wrapped that up and uh, tried not to bump it onto anything. By the way, you can attack these old men and then their fireballs start shooting other fireballs at you. So that's a thing that happens. Ugh, whiz robes. Why do you exist? Oh, I forgot I don't have the magic shield anymore. I tried to just tank that shot. I was just going to block it with my shield. But I don't have one. <laughs> nice, got him. Okay. Uh, that wall's not bombable either. Yeah, gosh, I've uh, I've not damaged my fingers, uh, really. But uh, I have damaged my toes. That, that's no fun. I don't, uh, don't recommend that to anyone. Uh, I lost a toenail once. And that was, that was awful. Gosh, I, it felt terrible. I, it was hard to walk on for a little while. And, uh, oof, I thought, I didn't think it was going to grow back. <laughs> if I'm just being honest, I thought, well, that's it. Toe's gone. Gone for good. But, uh, no, it did grow back. <laughs> uh, by the way, team, any of y'all into, uh, any sort of rhythm games or other types of games? <clears throat> I did mention earlier that, uh, I used to play, uh, Dance Dance Revolution a fair bit. Uh, also, uh, Guitar Hero, I used to love that. Uh, everyone used to love Guitar Hero, you know? It was so popular for about two years. <laughs> Crazy popular for about two years. And then uh, it died out pretty quick. <sighs> this is not where I need to be. Ooh, want that. <laughs> Yoink! Getting over it. Oh gosh, Backroads, that game is insane. Also kind of tough, right? Kind of tough. Never played Hi-Fi Rush, uh, somebody. I, I would like to, but uh, yeah, no, uh, Backroads, I know the game you're talking about. That's rough, buddy. That's rough. Uh, you have Clone Hero. That's pretty cool. Never played Clone Hero. I, I recognize what it is, but uh, I've never played. Uh... I have uh, Guitar Hero uh, 2 and 3 for Xbox 360, and that's what I played. I never... Uh, not to say that I've never played them, you know, once ever, but I never really played the other ones that much. Just a couple of times here or there, but not really. Yes! Fairy! The, the Zelda gods have loved me, apparently. It's over here. It's over here somewhere. Where is it? There's, there's a way to get it. So this, um, this room right here, if you, uh, if you move this, that leads to, uh, Ganon, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this just leads to Ganon. Let's take a quick, quick peek. If it takes us up to the top middle of the skull, then yeah, this one leads to Ganon. But we need the silver arrow. Yeah. 
This takes us over to Ganon. And we need to go, but not yet. Nailed it. Easy peasy. So we can't go to the right, I don't think. And this just leads us to another room with a, a pathway. Yeah, not where we need to be. At least I don't think so. Let me bomb this wall. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing? Yeah, I didn't think that wall was bombable. I didn't think so. And uh, I'm certain... I'm, I'm certain this one leads us to Ganon, but... We can't go there just yet. Let me move this. We're just gonna check right quick. Which, uh, Sabaton was in Guitar Hero? I'm not familiar with that song, uh, Backroads. Yeah. Through the Fire and the Flames, your record! 81%, huh? That's, uh, that's probably better than mine. Yeah, gosh, uh, big fan, you're better than I am. Uh, I, uh, I don't know, I was okay. I was okay. It was never amazing. I could pass most songs on Expert at my, at my best, and, uh, songs have gotten way harder than they were, uh, you know, back on Guitar Hero 3. Newer songs are way harder, especially Clone Hero songs. Some of those are just nutty. Some of those are just straight nutty, you know? Uh, well, hello, Snail! It's, uh, it's a pleasure to see you. Thanks for coming by. Uh, always happy to have you. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling very snaily? So, if you, uh, if you've snailed it, does that, uh, does that mean you nailed it? It just took you a while? Is that a thing? Shapes and Beats. Uh, somebody, I'm not, uh, not familiar with what that is. Is this it? No, it's not that. Shapes and Beats. Froggy Squad, you're a frog? I thought you said you were a sheep. Now I'm just not sure what to believe. Just not sure what to believe anymore. Oof. Eyes of the Skull has a secret. I don't... I don't think that this is what, uh, what I hope it to be. Eyes of the Skull has a secret. That sounds nice. There's a couple rooms that we haven't been in. Let's go check them out right quick. Through the Fire and the Flames is... Yeah, that one's Guitar Hero 3. Also, the, uh, The Devil Went Down to Georgia? That, that song right there. Oof, I love that one. It was hard. It was really hard. Uh... You had to have a guitar battle with Satan himself, I think? It's been a while <laughs> since I've played that. It's been a long while, buddy. But yeah, such a good song. I loved playing that one. So good. Uh, thanks, Froggy. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a bunch. Uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes a little bit. I don't always hit the nail on the head. It is what it is. It is what it is. But hey, thanks for coming by. I appreciate that. If you enjoy this poopy, maybe hit the like button. Haha, <laughs> right? Maybe consider hitting the like button. That'd be cool. Okay. Uh, I'm certain. I'm so certain it's up there in the, the north. Hmm. It's a rhythm bullet hell game. That sounds awesome. I do love me some... Uh, it's actually been a while since I've played a, a bullet hell game, though. Uh, I used to play the Raiden games, uh, Raiden 1 and 2, and I actually have the third one on uh, PS2, but uh, that w that actually might make a great vertical game, because it's just vertical-oriented, you know? <laughs> yeah, gosh. It was a Battle vs. Satan, yeah, that's uh, that's a, uh, what a cool fight, you know? <laughs> Go to the next room. Thanks, champ. Uh, so, Froggy, how are you feeling tonight? You a frog? You're a snail? You both? I'm confused. I don't know what you are anymore. Get Shrekt! Okay. Nice. Got him, team. Okay, we're just gonna finish this right quick. We're just gonna go get it. I'm, s I'm certain. It's gotta be up there in the top left corner. So we're gonna go over there and take a look around. We're gonna go take a peek around. Oh, yeah. Uh, Backroads. Gosh, you, you know, if you want to put yourself on out there on the internet, you've got to grow some thick skin. You know, gotta gotta throw grow some thick skin. People will come and say whatever to you, and uh, you know if uh, if you let it get to you, you've lost. You've just lost. You you can't let people get to you like that. It just won't. It doesn't end well for anyone. Cause then you're you're fighting trolls, and if you're fighting trolls, uh, you're just feeding into them and giving them power. And uh, just don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You know. Uh, 
if you give them power, they win, you know? And uh, I don't think Froggy's truly a troll. Not really. Uh, and I, I don't know. I'm just not that worried about it. Just, uh, just not that worried. It's all good, you know? Making you buy as much B-dubs? Hey, I actually went to B-dubs today. Uh, Colin, we got some, uh, mango habanero. I had them, uh, I had it earlier. How do I get over there? How do I get over there, team? That's the way to Ganon. Hmm, there's a, there's a way right there. Uh, see, look at the map. We need to go to the room to the north. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Uh, I see... I don't know if it's right, but I see one room we haven't gone into yet, so let's go check that out, right? Time to climb with a hammer? Oof! What do you... Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, well, gosh, buddy, uh, that game's pretty rough. I hope you... Have you beaten it yet? Uh... I, I haven't played it. I know of it, but, uh... I haven't uh, haven't played it. So there's there's a room over here to the east of the left eyeball. I haven't been up there yet, so let's go check it out. Let's go poke the eyeball, right, team? We're getting pretty close, team. We're getting pretty close. We're about to crush this game. Ah, uh, nice. Uh, I shouldn't drink tea because it has caffeine in it, but I love tea. Mm, man, it's my favorite drink. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Whatever you got. I don't need to fight these guys. <laughs> I don't need to impress you. Patra has the map. Oh, no. Uh, Patra, that's that, uh, I, I know I can't bond that wall and go left here. That's the goofy eyeball thing with the other smaller eyeballs that roam around it. That's Patra. Pat, 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 Patra? I'm gonna say Patra. Okay. Where... Have I not been to? Hmm. Hmm. There's a couple of rooms off to the right over there that I haven't been to. Seeing all that progress lost? Oh, gosh, it sure can. It sure can be frustrating. I don't know. Uh, I could play a game like that, but, uh... Hmm. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if my, uh... I don't know if my frustration would allow me to. Gosh, guys, uh, this may it may not appear to be this way, but uh, I used to be a, a very hot-headed and quick-tempered guy. I used to be so such an angry guy, and uh, just that's just not good for me or for anyone. Uh, so I, I eventually did realize that I was kind of angry, and uh, I started working on it. You know, sometimes you just gotta realize the faults in yourself and start working on them. Otherwise, you'll never make progress. Uh, and eventually, I did. I made the realization, and I started working on it. Cause, uh, and I'm glad I did. Otherwise, oof, oof, that would have been that would have been bad for me. I, I lost a relationship whenever I was younger to, due to my anger, and uh, she was right. I, I should have left. All right, she should have left. She was right to leave. I was being a I was being a big dumb dumb. And uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, nowadays I could probably play games like that, but back then, oh, it would have been bad. James, hello, thanks for coming by. Uh, Sorry, I missed your, your chat there for a moment. Uh, I got a management information systems degree, and uh, it doesn't do anything for me. Technically, it did help me get my job, but it doesn't help me at my job. <laughs> uh, it doesn't doesn't assist me in any way. I don't use anything that I learned from that job, you know? Don't like streams, but yours is the first one I stayed for? Uh, uh, thanks, Lennon. I, I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, you've been here since the fifth place, but you fall asleep? Hey! Oh, gosh. Lennon, I'm sorry. I'm going to figure this out right now. We're going for it. Uh, I need to check some rooms to the, to the south over here. We're going for it. Or we're rushing. We're rushing right now. I know I need the arrow. It's over there in the top left corner. I'm certain of it. I'm certain it's over there. I remember getting it uh, once upon a time. But I don't remember. I don't remember where or how. Thinking, thinking, brain's brain's working. Maximum, maximum overtime right now. 
Uh, Landon, that's that's very nice of you to say. Very nice. I appreciate that, my guy. Uh, I say guy. I shouldn't uh, shouldn't assume anything. Uh, thanks for that. That's really cool of you. I I'm glad you're having a good time. Yeah, yeah, we're getting farther. New room right here. Ah, uh, we're about to crush this. About to crush this guy. Look at that guy. He's done. You, you uh, whiz robe, blue blue robe. You're done. You're done. Orangey, you're done. A key? Okay, not quite what I was hoping for. Not quite it. Uh, so you you're not a big fan of uh live streams, Lennon? Uh, typically, honestly, if I'm just being real with you guys, I'm usually also not just a massive fan of other live streamers. Uh, I. This may sound hypocritical because I put on a live stream myself, but uh, I don't know. I find a lot of uh, live streamers to just not be that entertaining, I guess. Most people seem to, uh, and I'm not so certain that I just do this expertly myself, but uh, being able to uh, do both at the same time is uh, it's definitely a skill. And I need to go this way right quick. Right two, up one, left one. Uh, it's it's not an easy skill, but I find that most people don't really seem to be able to do both. Not that I can expertly or do it well all of the time. Obviously, I've taken a bunch of damage as I've been playing through this because I glance back. I think it's important to occasionally look at, you know, look at the camera. Eye, eye, eye contact, in my opinion, is uh, is important when talking to, to folks. And uh, obviously, I realize that I can't see your eyes, you know. But uh, it's it's nice to be able to see someone even just in a video with eye contact, you know? And, uh... I don't know, to me, that's uh, that's just a thing that uh, is kind of nice. So, I try to look at the camera on occasion. Uh, always chat. Always want to see the chat. I, uh... I, some people don't appreciate the people that come by, in my opinion, enough. Uh... And I, I see a lot of entitlement when people stream. You know, I, you, you should come by because... And you should be here because I'm amazing or whatever, you know? I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, uh, I see a lot of stuff that I don't really care for in streams. And, uh, so I don't tend to watch them too much. But uh, there are a few good people that I do really like. Um, this, this is the room. I, I, why didn't I come up here sooner? I did, I, did I just never take that staircase? What's wrong with my brain? Sorry, team. My brain is malfunctioning. Lennon, this is it. We got it. The, the key. It's, uh... No, no, why did I go down again? It's, uh, it's north. It's north. I gotta bomb this wall, I think. I think I bombed this wall. Please tell me I bombed this... If I don't bomb this wall... Okay, oof, I was about to say, if this is not it, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what is. Oh, gosh. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay. Oh, uh, I did talk about some fun facts in, in this, uh, during this stream, so if you're, uh... If you're interested in some fun facts, uh, I invite you to, uh look for those parts. I also make shorts about it, so... But thanks for thanks for coming by. I appreciate you, buddy. Girlfriend came to wake you up. <sighs> that is... See, you guys... Some people say that I'm wholesome. I think that's wholesome. That's amazing. Yeah! Let's go, team! So, I remember a long time ago, uh, I used to like a, a, a YouTuber. His name was uh, Pro Jared. And uh, that may have not aged as well lately, depending on your opinion. But anyways, he... The first time he started releasing a Pokemon Nuzlocke run, Fire Red Nuzlocke run, uh, my girlfriend at the time and I, we would watch it together every time it released. And like I said, age like milk, but what can you do? <laughs> you don't always know everything, you know? But anyways, uh, and I always thought that that was just something really, really wholesome. So, uh, uh, Controller God, hello! Uh, I'm great. I'm, I'm doing great. We're crushing this game. Uh, I got a little lost in this last dungeon, but we just figured it out, and now we're going for it. Uh, but thanks, Lennon. Yeah, that, that's very wholesome. Very heartwarming to hear, so I appreciate that. Yeah. Cliff, love you too, buddy. Okay. Is it this way? I think it's this way. This room right here? Yes, this is it. Uh, so we're going to push this block. Boop. Nice. Uh, Controller God, welcome. Thanks for coming by. Uh, and, yeah, James, a uh, bit of an oof there. <laughs> what can you do? You know? I'm, I'm working on a, a YouTube video, um, and honestly, old school John Tron and old school Pro Jared are kind of the inspiration for that. But there's actually a newer YouTuber. His name is uh, YouTube name at least is Treaky, and uh, they they're kind of the inspiration for this uh, this video that I'm working on. It's not going to be as good. Uh, I know it's not, but uh, it's my first try. 
taking my first stab at it, and uh, I'm gonna try to improve every time from then, you know, from that point. All right, team, here we go. Uh, I think I just need the arrows first. I don't remember how to fight this guy. Wish me luck, team. Yeah, get Triforced, Ganon. Can't handle the Triforce. Oof. Oh, nope. Got him. Got him. Didn't, didn't get him. Got him. Nailed him. Okay, so he, there's... Uh, he teleports around as he shoots. And technically, one of the best strategies is just to stand still and uh, attack the same spot, and eventually he'll be there, you know? Got him. Oh, oh yeah. Get... Mm. <laughs> Got him. There you go. There you go. We nailed it, team. How about that? There you go, Lennon. Thanks. Thanks, Lennon. Uh, thanks uh, to your girlfriend. Appreciate you guys so much for, for hanging out. Check it out, team. Destructible fire. Blam. 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 Nailed it, team. And there... By the way, uh, Princess Zelda's dress, it matches your tunic, uh, regardless of what color it is. Fun fact. There you go. Woo! We got it. We got it. GG, Ryan. Hey, thanks, buddy, for, for coming by. I appreciate that. Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. And she's got her own Triforce, right not? And then we gives us a seizure, my goodness. This reminds me of when I was young watching your older brother play. James... I'm glad I could be that. I hope that's a good thing, by the way. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, thanks, guys. Finally, peace returns to Hyrule, you know, until next time. When it's no longer peaceful, because that happens every time. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys, for hanging out. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you all... Uh, I, I hope you all had a good time. Uh, I, I certainly did. I had fun. Uh, Thurs uh, so tomorrow is uh, the Fire Red Nuzlocke run. We're going to continue on that. So, guys, if you're interested, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. We'll be uh, streaming again tomorrow night uh, our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke run. Um, on a... I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to stream Saturday. Um, but maybe Sunday night. That'll be a bonus stream. It might uh, it might be Resident Evil 3. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, I'll pick something, and we'll do it. Um... Uh, Monday, Tuesday will be Hollow Knight until we beat it, and uh, that's that's what I got going on for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, I hope you all had a good time. I sure did. Uh, I will see you all next time. Thank